everyone! Welcome to the Forest of Memories. I am Zeruk Windcaller, your guardian, your high remembrancer, and your arbiter. Once again, we return to the world of Wildermyth, where stories are told, legends are written, and epitaphs seal every chapter. Last week, a lot of crazy stuff happened, but with Azibo at my side, there's nothing she and I can't accomplish. We quoted our own, we got our own meme started, which art of that is coming along, don't you worry, and more. Sadly, we didn't take a picture of said meme, but that's okay, we'll, we'll keep it alive. Before we get started, if you're watching this on the VOD, hello, I'm Zaruk. I stream usually almost every day of the week. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Uh For other information, for those of you currently in my chat, if you'd like to be part of our Discord community, you can hit exclamation mark Discord and get a link there. If you'd like a link to the VOD channel, so you can see all the VODs that you've missed or previous streams, that's going to be exclamation mark YouTube. And if you'd like to keep up to, with me on social, social media, and know what my schedule is and what I'm going to be playing, uh, follow me on Twitter. You can get that with exclamation mark social. So, with that, mm, no more wasting time. Let us begin. Stories must be told. Let's go. I return. Hey, and oh, good thing I just checked my uh, stuff. Uh, my my audio sources didn't vanish. That happened before. Yeah, I like, just forgot here. what I used. For, uh, that's weird. Maybe an update. And as before. Maybe an update for. Oh, hello. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, real quick before we get started, as always, I'm joined by the lovely Azibo, who is here to lend her storytelling expertise to our adventures. So, say hello, Ed. I'm also very good at magic. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Yes, she is. As very she, good at magic. Yeah, as, yes. Her magic, when she's here, tends to overwhelm, well, everything else. So, all right, hold on. For people in my chat who don't know, I turned Zeruk into a goat. Yeah. Again. The true form. <laughs> yes. Uh, turned me into a boss monster. So... Yes, there are ways to turn me back. You can do that with bits, and we also have redeems to make Azzy larger and myself larger. Those are sound. Re those are channel point redeems, though. Either way, uh, and yes, everything's in uh, has results attached to it. So if you choose to make Azzy bigger, it'll actually uh, play. Let me give. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me make sure it's turned on. Yes, it is turned on now. So yes, clicking certain commands will well cause things to happen. So. All right. Yeah, like me, for example. Thank you. Um, uh, don't. Are you gonna adjust your uh, reactive in my chat, or are you gonna stay an imp on my end? I think I'm gonna stay an imp on your end. We're gonna. We got a multi-stream set up. Uh, Lord Rallius, can you repost that? I have a pinned. Oh, you do. Okay, good. And uh, I'll pin it over here. Uh, yes, we do have a um. Mm. And we do have a uh. Mm. We do have a multi-stream set up here in my chat, so you can go and watch Azzy's stream as well. So, if you're an Azzy stream... Are you really just going to do it to me and not yourself? I'm showing how much I care about you. Keep going, yeah, it's fine, don't yeah. worry about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, before we get started... I'm trying to do the intro, do you mind? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> the last time we were here... Um, well, we need to see what story we're doing. We gotta get back to the story first, and then I'll address everything. But for now, um, yeah, I think we're ready to get started. So, let's see, multi-stream is set up, everything should be good to go. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So, also oh, nice to see you on my end, Luna. Alright, so, with that, let's get started. There we go. I'm ready. There you go. Yeah, man, the game started for a bit. You're getting really big, Zeruk. You oh, sure gosh, you don't yeah. want to go on the diet? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. You say that, and yet you're you're literally have a mountain. You have a literally, uh, yeah. You have a mountain and are a mountain in my area. In my yeah, well, I'm not worried. About, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see the pounds piling on as we speak. How many channel points do you have in my in my disc in my chat? 
I had nearly 5,000. Ah, okay. So, uh, real quick, before we continue, hmm, let's go over the characters that we have real quick. First off, we have, um, we have the wolf siblings, Karalia and Ore. Uh, Ori is voiced by Azibo. Oh, hitting us up. Yeah. Linus is voiced by myself. Azibo voices Azirella and Karalia, and I voice Magnolia. So, and for those of you who are here, who've been here for a while, you'll know Linus Ma and Magnolia and Azarella are from our last campaign, but they're legacy characters. So they were carried over and now they get to help out here. Yep, they get, so the higher legacy they are, the more points they get. That's why Azarella is uh, tier five, because she's been through a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say they also make references about that? Like how many stories and adventures? Uh, when they're they recruited. Uh, yeah. When they're recruited at higher levels, there's a chainsaw reference it. So what we want to do here, I believe. All right, so Thrixels are stalled for... Th right, we're on a time crunch right now. Yes. All right, so I think it's best. Let's see. We don't have enough to recruit yet, I don't think. No. So let's, let's see. Let's secure this place for an item real fast. Let's see. Uh, we're going against Thrixel, so let's see. I don't want to spend any legacy points, admittedly, because I want to get the hero faster. Yeah. So we'll just deal with that. It's not anything too terrible. We'll finish this up. Y'all forgive me for a second. I'm going to make a, uh, can I even make, hmm. Okay, I can't do it now. We'll have to do it later, so. What's up? Oh, nothing. I was, um, for those who want to do what we do, what I've set up here, like, and Azzy, I think, does it too. We're like PNGs and, will you knock it off while I'm trying to make an explanation? Um, so, essentially, if you want to do what we're doing, where PNGs and stuff can actually be shown to get larger, you have to, like, not only have a the mix it up app and other stuff but you also have to set your png's position relative to where you want to do everything and this means that one of the settings you have is you can determine how the png grows which in this case this png slides to the left but the problem is which bothers me i'd like to change it but the problem is i can't if i change it now well then i'll have to reset everything so we don't want to do that so make sure if you do get yeah. into this make sure you verify that it's you know, it's changing the way you want it to change. So, anyway, keep at it, Azzy. All right. Like yep. with story wise. So, there we go. Belt let's of see. Chivalry. Armor. Let's see. I think we know. Well, Magnolia's already Magnolia got one. Magnolia has so. one. Okay. Um, let's give it to Carlyle. She, she, she needs the best defense, mm -hmm. I'd say. Let's see. Uh, okay. So let's. Hmm. Let's head over to get Heartwood and Spell Thread, and then we're gonna go take out this place. Yeah. Let's go. Also, hey Hop, I kind of want to get a score for PNG after for stream, but I have no idea how to set that up. I we I use Video Tube for PNG Tube or stuff. Yeah, Video Tube is your best bet. Also, you're sending a little tinny on my end. As is your connection okay? Oh geez, that's not good. Um. Okay, that's and... better. It's better now. I think my internet just hiccup for a moment. Okay. Because uh, yeah, on my stream, like it got yeah very fuzzy. Right. That's better now. So, I noticed Magnolia's been gone a while. Any clues why? In the distance, you hear Scottish complaining. Yeah. Maybe we overshot some. Or she did. Should we backtrack a bit? This, this peddler man may know. Oh, peddler man. Who? Pardon us, Lord Bobble Seller. <laughs> <laughs> I love the stupid we're, names. We're wondering if you've seen a lady pass this way, armored and strong elbowed, with strong hands. Well, firstly, <laughs> I'm not selling anything. Could have been any time in the past couple days. Where are you coming from, Peddler Man? Small village near what we used to call Dark Shrine. It's not. 
Dark Shrine's where she was headed, giving it a look, but you never saw her? You're obviously you're not very perceptive for a peddler, man. Sorry, no. But listen. Folks have been disappearing back there. The... I don't know what's gotten into them. But it's not safe. I packed my things and I'm heading out. Your friend... Well, I hope you find her. The man and his cart roll along. Ominous man. Imagine packing up your life like that. In any case, I guess we better pick up the pace. Anything? No. You? No. It's a small, it's a little village, but I doubt they all packed up and left. From a gully among the rocks rises a brief gust of voices. Hear that? Oh, wait. So, yeah, this is, yeah, I remember yeah. this from last chapter, from last story. Ooh, gah, ooh, gah, ooh, gah. <laughs> all the people. Uh, and for those who don't know what I'm referencing with that, if you haven't seen Oversimplified's The Bucket War, you, you'll understand what I'm quoting. The Great One. Ugh, boy. I'm just imagining this. Come, Great One. And they have to shout really loudly because otherwise the Great One can't hear them over their rattling bone. Yeah. It's also funny that they kept Magnolia in a cage made of sticks. <laughs> Magnolia probably isn't breaking out because she doesn't want to intimidate them too much yeah. with her strong hands. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, great one, come! Great one seems kind of shy tonight, huh? Shut up, shut up you stupid dog. Yeah, hush! Come, great one. We brought your gift. Spare us. Magnolia? The urgent cries and amber torchlight are easy to follow in an otherwise still night. Magnolia's cage is makeshift, but sturdy. This is a sacrifice, isn't it? Shh, not if we stop it. Okay, so last time we rescued her by force, do you want to try and get them to listen this time, or beat them up again? That's your call. What do you think? Uh, let's... Uh, let's do the reasoning part. Fine. Let's attempt to reason with them. We don't have str we uh we don't have any excessively strong hands to help us beat them up this time. Mm. We don't want to risk it. Yeah. Hey, right. You want to read out the yeah. dialogue? Yeah. Attempt to re good neighbors, landsfolk. Listen, there's no need for blood. Trying to get us all killed, stranger, or just yourself? The opposite. See, that's my friend you caged up. It's not my way leaving friends to die. Ore. This is the price of survival. Our own are not exempt. The great one demands sacrifice, and we have no choice but to oblige. No choice at all. What are you saying? And where's this great one? You haven't seen it, the great one. It comes with a host of bloodthirsty beastmen. Monsters. It burns, it eats, or else it rages and kills across the countryside. So we'll kill it. Huh? We'll kill it. Won't we? Guess so. Hmm. You really mean that? You'll stand in its way? Do battle with the deadly monster? Why? Because it's slightly more palatable than killing you. If we fail, then it gets to eat us anyway, doesn't it? Either way, you're safe. Well, I see no harm in letting you try. Don't expect us to throw in our, li our lives in with yours. The village folk shuffle past, up to their homes. Ori, Azarella, and Karalia break Magnolia out of her prison. Depressing. How fear nudges weak hands toward evil. Oh my evil. god, they brought up- Oh my god, they brought up again! The weak hands! Weak hands. Oh boy. Is this just gonna be a running joke? Yeah, I mean, I hope it is, but still. <laughs> I can just imagine Magnolia tur turning to freaking Corali and be like, You see, this is why you need strong hands. Mm -hmm. Your hands stay weak, you might turn evil. <laughs> All right, that confirms that in canon, all thing, every evil thing in Wildermyth has weak hands. <laughs> From within the cave, a blue glow grows and a hungry growl. Oh no, Zaruk is in there. Oh, shut up. I'm not blue. 
Also, wait. I mean, blue, true. It but said, you're wait a minute. It said blue gr uh, glow. Wait, does that mean? Do they mean the light, or do they mean the color of the text? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> See, look, the great one. Tartarus crackling accompanies its torquing gait. The sound of stone heating till it breaks. A rippling hot roar as from a black furnace flows forth. Go, oh no. Go, go, gadget splinter blast. Or you could just do that. I'm stealing your kills. As for proof, I don't have there any hands. Good God, I forgot how far he can move. That's normal movement. And then right? around at the speed of sound. I got places to go. Yeah, just got, follow. got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> Let's see. Turns out getting possessed and turned partially into a bird makes you zoom. Uh huh. Watch out for the bird. Oh, it just crushes everything. Death. Ah, uh, okay, that wasn't as death as I wanted. Wow, he's quick for such a big thing. Think I red. Also, that's no, it's not Cthulhu. It's just Bernie. Just a giant monster. Okay. Takes care of that. And Magnolia, you specialize in killing things. Go get it. Guys, the monster. Go get it. There we go. <laughs> Heyday references. Mm -hmm. Guys, the thing, go get it. Yeah, guys, the thermal drill, go get it. My favorite holiday song is the Payday Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah. Five bullets <laughs> left! Five bullets left! Please, I need an ammo bag. Yeah. Burn. Why does the great one look like Ganon a bit? It kind of does. <laughs> oh yeah, the box sale too. Yeah, Linus is just someone's early furry OC. Yeah, that Linus had a lot of crazy stuff happen to him. Hey, Magnolia is so close to leveling up. All right, more health. Uh, well, we just made Magnolia beef here. Okay. That way she can match you. Huh. Is this just going to turn into make Zarook eclipse his own stream? Yes. The Great One is extinguished, reduced to ash. Its minions are dead or scattered. Magnolia and the rest make a wary return from the cave and the gully. You have a true friend, Ori. I want you to know I'm grateful. You have strong hands. Yeah. Oh, I... Well, of course, Magnolia. We're here for each other. Lord Raleigh says, Would you rather Azzy eclipse your own stream? She does that anyway. <laughs> like, she dem like, she's all for getting larger, so... <laughs> and I'll destroy anything that comes for you. Count on, count on it. Dawn climbs onto the distant hills as the old village spokesman sheepishly approaches, trailing a young woman with fiery eyes. Let me thank you, strangers. My name's Sloane Bray, and my parents were among the first sacrificed to that thing by this man and his posse. We all wound up under their thumb. Oh, is that light? Kill him! In any case, <laughs> you've broken their power and we've wrested our homes back. You and yours will be welcome here for the rest of numbered days, and in our humb humble village, your name shall never fade. As the morning stretches, Magnolia and the others head out, 
refusing an offer to stay in favor of getting on the road. The people here will be strong, believing in the courage of the retainers of the unbroken divinity. The lair of the Great One will be overgrown with flowers, a memorial to the innocents who died there, and the story will ring through the generations. Wow! Yeah, three legacy points for all of that. I think we can go recruit someone now. Yeah. People are dying, though. We need to clear out these Thrixel sites. Get back from Legacy. Can I get Wolf? We, no, but we can get Meeps! Yep, get her. She's been here like it's Meeps. For those who don't know, Meeps is basically like... Meeps has been in every story at this point. Meeps, the cleave. Let's see, uh... I'm still not sure how we convinced you to join our band of doofuses, but I'll take it. We'll be heading up tomorrow. Meet me at the meeting road in the morning. Well, it was certainly not because of your weak hands. <laughs> the Retainers of the Unbroken Divinity. That's the title of this next chapter. Oh, that, yeah, there's a reference that she knows what's up. Uh, we're gonna have to save, uh... I think upgrading these next places for the next chapter because yeah. we can't waste any more time. Yep. Okay, come on. Wait, we left Ori. All right, hang on. We can't have Ori. Uh, let's leave. Uh, you mind if we leave Linus behind for yeah, Azurella sure. since she's higher level? Sure. And then Azurella, when she gets to max level, she can have do her own thing. So hang on, let's yeah. swap this out and see. There we go. Let's get him. Oh. Meep play fit. Oh, hey, there's Meeps in my chat. Welcome, Meeps. Meeps. Want bigger goat. Hang on one sec. And, oh, okay. Meeps played it again. Alright, max beef goat. Alright, wrong size. There we go. Now it's chunky, not beefy. That's bad. Okay, this isn't good. Keep I... going, Meeps. Bigger. Grow the goat. Grow the goat. I'm surprised Grow no one in my goat. stream is trying to stop this. You, everyone in your stream should, is probably wants you to get even bigger. If it was me, they might stream for me. But... There we no, go. Thank no, you, Lord Raleigh. Raleigh. Thank you, Lord Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Wait, my finger slipped. Wait, Joe, I can't get any buffer. This is as big as possible. I just like the sound. Oh, I see. Also, hey, we're close to a hype train in my chat. Nice. If uh, people uh, donate any more, then we'll uh, get a hype train. Fun stuff. Go give, uh, go support yeah, Azipo with some bits or something. She deserves it. <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the one eclipsing your stream now. Oh, it's so small. All right, one second. Buried near Ebonpool Breath is a thing that Mothman called a glimmer. A hold on, what is that? Glimmer, glimmer scene. Oh, hey, thank you, Joe, for giving out five community subs to Alex Radian, Little Discord, DJ Sango. Apollo Mon and Crashy Bandicoot. Oh, is the Rook sound sitting on my end? Uh oh, that's not good. How do we sound at each other's end? My, let's see. You sound very tinny on my end, like it keeps like popping every so often. You might want to pull your mic away from you a bit. All right, I'll try that. Is that any better? A uh, little bit. Uh, I think it's both of us are sounding tinny. Cataclysm says I sound tinny on your end, too. Mm, that's like that's, some, that's something we can't really control. Because it be, could be internet connection. It could be anything. Might be an internet connection thing here. How's my bitrate? Bitrate seems fine. 
Same Occasional here. spikes, but... Oh, alright. Let's see. Alright, here's another mark. Oh, also, the reason I haven't changed my PNG on your end is because you can't... Like, other people's PNGs don't get bigger on your stream, so... I should just stay the way I am. Yeah, but you could be fat. No, I'm fat on my own stream, thanks to you. But Chunky Tummy! Oh, hey, Copper Red, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Forest of Memories, I appreciate it. Make yourself at home. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, Joe a, wants both again. A, a glimmer scene is a physical place where this world remains stitched to another. It can be used for crossing over. Oh. Yep. Ringing for the real Marshwoods now. It'll be easy for something to ambush us in there. Frogs and wrens jangle their voices safe among reeds. Otherwise, the air is creeping quiet. But a glimmer scene is quite fragile. Extreme care will be required to fit whole humans through. Well, in that case, neither Azzy nor I am going to fit through it. <laughs> ah, you're fat. It says you. And I am beefy. I don't know, I'm looking pretty bulky and beefy. I just keep really good in shape. So therein lies your hope. Whatever the Thrixel are doing with your people, shepherding them all to Terrafract, I can only guess, but it's likely slow, slow work. Also, what does a hype train do? I don't exactly know. I know. It's just a thing that I, I can tell you. A hype train, basically, what a hype train does is when it hits, it basically raises the up the chance of you being on the front page of Twitch. So if anyone logs oh. on Twitch, they might spot you. Uh, spot you. The higher the hype train, the more like the more like the more people the algorithm will point you to. Basically. Oh, it so, helps the algorithm. All right, so no wonder. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Well, keep the hype train going if you want more people to spot the goat. Yep. Anyway, let's see. The trees packed wetly in. The stink of putrefied plant matter <laughs> furls thickened noses, summoning snot. Puddles of mucus-like muck among the roots blog and quiver. Yep, this is a mu this is a swamp, all right. Yay! Wouldn't mistake that for a fox den. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, did do yeah, both a rotted <laughs> hole at the base of the tree twists in oh, fetid geez. darkness. Bossman said there's a couple ways down. Right. Well, Magnolia and I could loop around and find another entrance. Cover more ground. Hopefully not instantly die. No qualms about the team, I guess. Let's see. Carly, I think we should, yeah, do that. Carly and I know how to fight together. I think this way gives the prisoners a better chance. We should do that when more survivors. <laughs> I know I know how to work around Kalaya's weak hands. <laughs> yeah. And I and I need to learn how to have strong hands from Magnolia. <laughs> yeah. Coralia and Magnolia pick a squelchy path, trying to keep their steps on spongy old wood and the trustiest stones. They soon discover a slick stairwell in the overgrown foundation of some forgotten structure. Hoot, hoot. Yeah, hearing Karalia's signal, both parties begin their descent. Feeling along close, gunky walls. Ducking through wet curtains of lacy mold. To whatever's waiting below. <laughs> yeah, feed me the bits. Or, you know, if you can't feed me the bits, you should totally hop on Zerk stream and make me bigger on his end. Yeah, she can do that. Also, someone needs to make a little pee, like a little gift of someone like shoving a uh, shoving a bit into your mouth. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. Hype train completed at uh, level two. Well, thanks everyone for getting me the hype train nice. in the first place. Okie dokie. So we got stoicism and haste. So oh right, I forgot they parasite people. I forgot about that. Goody. The unresting. Oh, goody. Mm, I need a rock. That's a rock. I threw a rock at him! I threw a rock! It was a big it, rock. Ah, damn it. It wasn't a very good rock. Me! So there I was in this quarry, and Batman tried to stop me. 
So I threw a rock at him. It was a big rock. <laughs> and that would be a fun bit alert, just stuffing bits into my mouth. This gets... I need to get more stuff. I need to get like a uh, subscriber badge. Let's see. Hey, right, also, thank you for stopping by, Copper. Hope you have a good rest of the, your day. All right, see you later, Copper. Have a good one. All right, let's go. Freaking Magnolia! Ha Magnolia has more magic armor than the wizard. Magnolia's seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have the Delta room. That Pretty might sure be that, a good idea. I think that's copyright, though. Uh, is it? I, I'd have to check it out. I know that the songs aren't copyright. Oh, I got stasis. Don't worry, I'll come help you out. Haha! -ha! Your attacks don't hurt me. Go, Discus. Damn it. Right, hang on. I have meat to remove stasis. There we go. Oh, hey, got achievement. No more nightmares. Kill 1,000 Thorks all across all campaigns. Nice. And then, bam! Very nice. All right, got rid of that. That's good. You, your hands I, I are definitely stronger. You... Someone with weak hands couldn't have done that. <laughs> and so, yeah, Undertale songs aren't copyright, Joe. Very specific. That's why I I got an Undertale song. I got the I bought the Undertale soundtrack to use to have a little music before I actually start. I'm kind of surprised that, they that they're not copyright. So specifically, Toby Fox has said that he explicitly doesn't want his songs to be copyrighted. So if people want to use them, they can. Fair enough. Hmm. We need to kill that bard down there. You die now. Or not. Hmm. Hang on. I got an idea for it. I think what I can do is fire leech over here and then over behind. Won't do too much damage, but it'll do a bit. Yeah. Oh wait crap, I forgot to swap to my staff. I would have done more damage if I'd done that. Oh well. Nope. Let's try again. Alright, we need to get the group together because this is actually, these guys are ganging up on Magnolia and Thalalia. I'm gonna put us on the defensive right now. Go ahead. Hang on, let me move. As you were over here, let's see if I can't take them to. Let me focus on trying to take them both out with nice. that. There we go. Very nice. And now with the way clear, just. Rush. Mm-hmm. Meeps can take a bit of fire damage. Meeps is okay. Got it. What is that effect that keeps going off? It's a... I don't know what... I don't think it's a deep... Uh -oh. I think it's just great damage. Uh-oh. Shit. Okay, we're alright. The bards always go last, so... Alright, hang on. Thank you. Can I do it a second time? Yes, you can. Alright, just have some health. 
Yep. Hang on. Let me just... All right, can you have Ori attack it from the front somehow? Yeah, the bard? Yeah. Go, right, bone lance. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do that. Got it. Hit him again! There we go. All right, get Magnolia out of there. Just run. Yeah, I am. Hydrate? Yeah, I can hydrate. Get drink. Another bone lance. Or you could do that. No need. Whoops. Ah, dang. Oh, well. Need to find what that effect is. Oh, so okay, here it is. Years that come near are start to turn having a chance to be stunned. Yeah, warding decreases okay. the chance. Okay. Right, there's that one. All right, I'm going to let's see, anything stone. No stone, but we got this bone lance. But first, I'm gonna rock shield Magnolia again. Magnolia has been taking a beat. To be fair, again, Magnolia basically fought an entire army by yeah. herself. So yeah. She deserves a rest. Yep. Nice shot. All right, time to put me right in the middle of all of them. Thank you. Hmm. Does she have a range weapon at all? No, just her axe and her sword and her shield, or warhammer and right. shield. Uh, keep the shield out, and I said, don't go in yet. It's too risky. Just wait. Okay. Have Magnolia set this one out. All right. One down. Oh god, I don't like this. Why are we getting our asses handed to us? Wait a minute. I have an idea. I got an idea! You gonna burn them? Yeah. Oh, power up. I got an idea. Oh. Die. Damn it. Hang on one sec. Gotta swap over colors. Going Super Saiyan? Yep. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goat. <laughs> super, I call it Super Goat God. Right, let's see, so let's have... I, I didn't mean to hide behind the fire, okay. Hey, Grinix, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Forest of Memory. Take yourself at home. Well, I'm that's, Zeruk that's problems taken care yeah. of. I'm Zeruk Windcaller. I'm normally an imp. You can blame uh you can blame my goat friend here. Donkey Tommy. Yeah, what she said. But yeah, we're playing Wildermyth today, which is part how do we describe it, Azzy? Uh Paper Murray aesthetic, XCOM playstyle in D D general story. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, come on. All right, hold on. I have another idea. Damn it, it's too far away. Uh, oh, this isn't. Duck. 
Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Very nice. We came out of that freaking bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Nightmail. Ah, uh, let's see. Magnolia. Yeah, give it to Magnolia. It's just a straight upgrade. Yep. Which is an upgrade for both, but she's wearing yeah. the top And then the knee pads of cunning. Knee cunning. Let's give that to Azirella. Yep. Bronze horn upgrade zealous leap. Hold on, reduce from once every other turn to once per turn. Clears pin on use. Nice. What about untouchable though? Untouchable is also very good. So it depends on what you want her to do with the current capabilities and what you think could upgrade it. Right now she seems very mobile, but untouchable could be good. Well, yeah, with that armor though, she won't be moving very far. It's better to be a tank. Hmm. Well, that's what the leap is for, because hmm. the leap isn't affected yeah. by armor. Yep. Familiar faces float from the shadows where they hid. They're changed, grimy, hollow-eyed. They stare. But they are escape mallow folk, and they are alive. Came as quick as we could. Can't help but feel sorry, though. Think of all the think of all the horrific things they've been forced to witness. Like watching 80s dubbed anime. Don't even make jokes about that! <laughs> Magnolia addresses them. Wish we could kill those monsters twice. Come on, you lot. Can help whoever can't climb. Searching out human faces, they find just 45 of the lost. But they're survivors. They clamor from the nests of rotting vegetation that presumably been provided for them. Ah, Ori, here. Here you are. Found some more? No one go too far too quick. It's still the swamp. It'll take days of warm coaxing to crack the cold trauma that's frozen their faces grim. But it's a brave start. Nope, whoops. Yeah, let's see. You'll, you'll be okay, Elsie. Realize how unlikely that seems right now. I'm just worried about my big sister. She, I think that she died. Your sister's a Luna, right? She and I had classes together sometimes. Hmm, that's her. They took her away like the others, but she never took her up the tunnel. No, it. There was... it was like a door made out of spider skin. By God's light, I smite you! Hey, Lord Masmodius. How you doing, buddy? Uh, as you can see, I'm a goat right now. Blame this, uh, blame this goat right here for that. But welcome! Hi. We're playing Wildermyth, which is one part D&D, &D, one part XCOM, and one part Paper Mario. Make yourself at home, and well, thank you for the raid. It was like a... they wove it, kind of. In the air, it appeared, and it went somewhere else. I don't know. But they took people through, one by one. Everyone seemed to want to go. I mean, I've heard Marvel movies are great, but I mean, I don't know if it's worth being, you know, hypnotized and traumatized <laughs> to go see them. Now, so yes, ha. Huh. Monster Magic apparently does override in magic. Boss Monster Magic does, not normal Monster Magic. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it's really just Hyper God, you know? Yeah. Hey, sounds like the glimmer scene. Like the, what the Mothman said? I think that's what it must have been. They called it The Door, and Luna and the other kids. People would go through, and they'd come back once time had passed, and except they looked like monsters then, and they wouldn't talk. What'd you expect them to say? Um, but Aluna was the last one taken. She'd been gone a lot longer than the others and never came back. That child, because of her hair, she doesn't have eyebrows. That child looks per either perpetually stoned or perpet- Well, I was gonna say, or perpetually traumatized. She probably is perpetually traumatized after everything she's probably. seen. Probably. Also, Hop, yes, I do count as a boss monster. Why wouldn't I? So, anyway, I'm pretty sure she died. I mean, I hope she didn't. 
but then I also think it might have been better if she did. Because she wouldn't want... Shh. I understand. It's alright. We'll go back and look again once you're safe. I'm just running. That's <laughs> I think it might be better if she did die, though. Raleigh she took my coloring book once. Yeah. Raleigh is just right. She looks like discount Dora... Or sorry, bootleg Dora the Explorer. That is... <laughs> Yeah. Also, right. my judge was like, or like girl boss monster. They reach the edge of the wood marsh. The musical yips of a wild fox greet them, echoing the wind. Milk gold sunshine coats the world. It smells yes, so good. A fox all... ghost, yeah. It smells so good all of a sudden, doesn't it? I should also. I mean, she'd asked me to say thank you. Can you say thank you in Spanish? <laughs> Can you say thank you? Gracias. Gracias. Oh god, who did we save? Put her back. Yeah. We tried to escape, me and Eluna. We did try, but they caught us. Thank you for coming to get me. You proved my sister right. They trekked toward home. <laughs> What's tortilla in Spanish? <laughs> Look, as someone who as someone who cooks like who likes a lot of uh, Spanish culture and Hispanic culture. Uh, please, please, for the love of all things that are holy and for your own sanity and bodily uh, bodily safety, do not go to any, any, like, country, anything that has Hispanic or Latin people and call it a tortilla. You will, you will regret that choice. Also, you come off as a, you come off as a gringo who doesn't know any better. It's tortilla. Just, I know. I That's know. why I said tortilla. How do you say tortilla in Spanish? <laughs> I actually know it's tortilla in Spanish. We call it sandwich in English. Because <laughs> you could make the oh, argument boy. is a taco a sandwich. I sure love tortelloni. Tortelloni. Oh, you are hurting Tortellini. me. Yeah, you are hurting me. If you keep that up, I am personally gonna tell everyone to make me bigger so I can crush you and stop the pain. <laughs> You fool, I enjoyed the big tummy. It would only grant me my greatest wish. Alright, next. <laughs> Later, searches only stir the bones. If something called a glim serene exists here, it seems beyond human access. No sign of the girl's sister appears. <laughs> Raleigh says, I'm not Spanish, but tortilla hurts my soul. Three legacy points, one health to company, one point to each company. All right, so I guess if we had been a bit faster, we would have gotten one more reward. Yeah, but I mean, those it's are still bad, good though. rewards, so. All right. Four years of peace followed. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on with that. During the years of peace. Seasons pass slow in the town of Skate Mallow. Hurtful reminders were everywhere. Empty homes, graves for missing bodies, classrooms full of ghosts. We saved 45 people! Wait, how many were you expecting? I think they might have expected us to just rush and blitz uh, getting everything and then saving everyone. Yep. But human resilience is remarkable. Our great gift for smiling at the simple heat of sunlight. We'll bless whatever's left to count. Thank you. That's how it is. Humanity is li like how was I heard someone describe it once? Humanity is the living embodiment of hanging onto a cliff with monsters and air and demons below you, and rather than using both hands to pull yourself up, you use one hand to pull yourself up and the other hand flips off everything below you. <laughs> Ori and Azarella were stopped by a traveling woman, a resident of that small village in Helmwild where the great one once feasted. She thanked him again for slaying the monster and ending the darkest days of her life. Ori took it as a sign that his path was rightly chosen. So, have you been decorating your place with skeletons and eldritch carvings? I suppose I have a reputation to uphold. Well, stop it. It's, you're just, you're not cool edgy, you're just weird edgy. Okay, first of all, for someone, I study anatomy. I need skeletons <laughs> for that. And as for the eldritch carvings, I draw. I'm sorry that it's creepy. I'm just imagining he's got bird skeletons everywhere for anatomy studies and all of his like all of his scientific sketches and stuff are just so god awful that people think they're he's the kind of, 
Don't forget, he's the person who tried to resurrect an ancient demon because he thought it would be fun. Yeah, and then he killed it. And then it. was disappointed with it. He was... No, he resurrected it, fought the guardian appeared, and then, like, ignored the real, actual demon because it was tiny Because of how tiny it was, stupid. yeah. Ori went back to the place he grew up and was tempted by old acquaintances to remain there. But in the end, the past proved an unwise place to linger. There are many ways to create a shrine, but the retainers of the Unbroken Divinity started by putting out offerings and waiting to see who showed up. You know what they say about spirits. You don't choose them. They choose you. Good God, he's big! <laughs> just imagine a little water spirit and just take the sound effects it makes and just deepen it. Yeah. Just war Echoing. Yeah, I'll read this one. Currently found love with the barmaid, who always had a snappy comeback. Late nights turned to early mornings as they brushed the world off each other's shoulders. Hey, you may want to do yourself something real quick, um, because now I'm starting to hear random popping. P unplug your microphone and plug it back in. I'm right, sure, hang on one moment. Yeah, I'm going to do the same, so hold on. Okay, it should be good. Hmm. Can y'all, uh, can y'all hear me? Make sure everything's working over here. Yeah, we should be good now. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Oh no, I'm gone. Hold on, I'll be back. There we go. All right, I'm back. Azzy, you good? Make sure you go on to disc uh, to OBS and everything, and make sure you set your audio input. Same thing with uh with Video Tube. We'll just wait for Azzy to come back real quick. In the meantime, hello chats. Hope y'all are doing well. So for those who don't um, know a little game that I play with my chat, if um, because everyone seems because Azzy's obsessed. Hey, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. I was just. I was back, but I forgot. It, yeah, I'm plugging it. Mess with everything. Mm -hmm. So I should be back in yours. Yep. Should be back on my stream. Yep. I was just getting ready right. to tell chat about the little game that's played in my stream, where like if. My PNG or someone else's PNG outgrows my screen or covers the game. I have to gift a sub. So, yeah. All right. All so, right. <laughs> let's continue after that uh, technical hiccup. Yep. Again, sorry about that. But now you're coming through clearly, so it did work. That's good. Right. The town rarely slept before midnight. They told me I should check on you. I said you were fine. Hard enough to spot the missing faces. At the dining table, I sit down. And I... So, that's all. Starlight mirrored lamplight, and the vigil seldom slacked. What are we supposed Probably to do? Don't... What? We're supposed to bag and bury all this body rubble? <laughs> Hang on, you shouldn't have that. Please. I think that's a glitch. Uh, right now on my screen, I have advanced license transformation, but it would take his arm and his crossbow, so I think you don't want that. Yeah. Do we want to find an item or work faster? Ew, another egg. Let's see. Um, Try to ignore it for now, actually. That's a glitch because I clicked on the thing to secure it because things were hesitating, but we can't actually do yeah. that right now. Let's see. Man, I can't upgrade my bow. See, I can't upgrade. 
Let's see, let's upgrade to Ghost Wrath Armor. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's get Coralia some proper, let's see, Dusty Rab. Let's see, uh, I think you should upgrade Ori's outfit. Yeah, good idea. She has a nice tier to hammer, but um, hmm. see, you can give Linus a higher tier crossbow. I am, but first I need to give Ori some uh, armor. Okay. Yep, give him some armor, and then can you still upgrade? Oh, we can't upgrade no. the crossbow anymore. It's all right. All right, let's just continue. That's yeah. the cost we have to pay, unfortunately. Uh, we'll have more time, it. so yeah. Yep. There's wisdom that survived from grandmother times. Never trust a dream you dream in moonlight. Take care if you lie under the window's cast. Even gaps as slender as moonbeams will admit a skilled weaver's needle. It's black here. In the dark between book and shelf. But, oh. Trillium moon. You don't seem real. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm having. Oh god, Azzy, I'm having Kirby PTSD. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Ease up. I'm only saying so. Oh, the uh, the moon is offended. <laughs> Bet I'm on the ocean behind the bookcase. Karali is gonna want to stay dry, but if I slip into the water, will I wash to the depths? Will I grow paper fins and swim Eternity's Legends alone? Oh, hey, there's... There's someone out jumping on the waves. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, that's danger! The figure falls through a hole in the shifting waters. That's dangerous, I tried to say. Am I the only one who can do something? The sheep certainly won't help. Feckless animal. Wow, so rude to just rude. a random sheep. Rude. So Ori hops over the woolly misted sea. Draw, drips limb by limb into the darkness. Lead me into everlasting darkness! <laughs> and now he's inside a shadowy cell where an odorless lamp emits little more than haze. Who, who are you? I'm who's having the dream. Is that Ori? Ori Wolf? Ori suddenly recognizes this young woman. The Luna Arkwright. How vivid this seems. It's like I'm seeing you again. You are. How'd you get here? Do they know? Wait, well, you're in my dream. Dream. You keep saying you're dreaming. If you're not one of their tricks, if you're really Ori Wolf, maybe you got here through dreaming? Do you know what happened to my little sister? El Elsie? We found her. She's safe. She's safe? If any of us are. This feels too real. Where we meant to be? Somewhere else. Those bug things brought me through the... Their world and ours. There's... This won't make sense, but it's like a... Oh, you want me to change form, huh? Hellhound. Also, no! I see in your chat... <laughs> Joe! Joe, no! That's not funny! Dream, dream. St no! Close that's your a... eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream to get us out. Oh, dream, God. Dream, 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 Mr. dream, dream, dream. Mr. Electric sent him, Mr. Electric sent him to the principal's office and have him expelled! <laughs> no, I think... No, no, it's more like... Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office and at once and and have him get be expelled or something like that. Okay. It's very over dramatic. Yeah, so, okay. Before we continue, I need to say this for those who don't know. Anyone who's seen the Spy Kids movie or seen Shark Boy and Lava Girl, y'all y'all do know why those movies were made, right? No. Okay. The reason they were made is because the director made them just so his kids would have something cool to watch. That's it. Like, that is why they were made. Dream, dream, dream. 
I mean, this, the movie itself, looking in the past, is not the best, but man, that song is a bop, though. Whatever happened to those actor, those kid actors and actresses, I wonder? Yeah, I want to know. I hope they are doing good. I'm sure they are. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, for Pete's sake, Frankie Muniz, who drove, um, you know, Malcolm in the Middle, and was also like, you know, Agent Cody Banks. Stuff. Frankie Muniz drives NASCAR now. Well, sorry. He Didn't drives... Frankie Muniz also, like, get, like, a huge, like, concussion or something? Forgot that, that he ever was in Malcolm in the Middle? Something like, maybe? I don't know. But he drives, like, one tier below NASCAR right now. And his brother is a NASCAR driver. So he's working his way up. It's it's really weird when you think about it. But yes, I want to see a hellhound. Make it happen. All right, time to take up too much of your stream. All right. Who needs to see anyway? Oh God, you weren't kidding. You seem to have forgotten that hellhound when compared to all the others. Someone for some reason. Someone shrink her. <laughs> no, make me bigger. Bigger. No, make me bigger. It's my stream. Yeah, but you love me, so you, they should make me bigger so you have more of me They to are. Love. Look, yes, okay. Yes, good. Look, I will I have to gift a sub if she covers the screen, so if y'all keep going, like, I'll have to gift a sub. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Can you say that again? I got an ad right before you start talking about Lockboy and Chavo Shark Boy and Lava Girl and why it was made. Uh, Zaruk said that it was because the director wanted his kids to have something cool to watch. Correct. Um, Cataclysm, the... you traitor! Yeah. The, a uh, thousand years dungeon. Yeah, the, um... There we go, now we're both equal in size. That's a good starting point. Um, yes. So, for the... Yes, I'll say it again. Sharkboy and, Lava, Sharkboy and Lava Girl and the Spy Kids director, his son and his daughter, um, he, fi he wanted them to have something cool and something they were interested in to watch, so he made those movies. That's why. So... Like, literally, it was a dad just making movies for his kids, basically. Now, I don't know if said father was a multimillionaire and was able to make those movies, but, you know. S Grin X says soon, dot T soon, TM. What are you planning, <laughs> Grin X? By the way, is that how you say your name? Is it Grin X or Grin X? I got a picture from him. It was pretty nice. Oh, yeah, I know about him. The E is silent, so Grin X, got it. And yes, I know about him too. Grin X, got it. Thank you. All right, so let us continue. Uh, did you read that line? I kind of got distracted by yes, screaming I did. the song. I read it. Right. Somewhere else, those bug things brought me through, oh, through their world and ours. There's, this won't make sense, but it's like a... From beyond oh. a dim door, a drone enters the room. Hey, my, my screen isn't... All right, there you go. Yeah, distant light grows. Trouble. Like Zaruk. The noise vibrates in every unfirm stone. Ori, you can, if you can leave here, you need to do it. They're going to find you, and I don't know if... How do we save you? We'll come and get you out. Actually, I... What we need is to find another one of those glimmerings, right? They'll sense a threat. You won't ever get close. My sister's strong. Tell her I... Can you be sure they detect us? Well, I... The longer I've been here, the more it's seen that they have some other perception. A sense attuned to the forces inside things. Their essences, or whatever you call it. A group of you would be like thunder to them. You'd be throwing your lives away. Show love Her 100 Handler so baby. Zaruk W I smile hype love one got back from Elsie's doing errands face. tilde. Hello love, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. You remember Azzy? My girlfriend just showed up. I sure hope I'm not forgettable. <laughs> Especially not. not this size. Yep. I'll come alone. I'll come alone then. Also, on hop in my chest is I like how Sharkboy and Lava Girl addresses how a bully could just be lashing out because of dealing with negative emotions they don't know how to deal yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. The dream begins to fade. Ori wakes up from his wandering sleep. He holds a clear idea in his mind, like a kernel of light that can draw him over the hills to where he must go. Several days pass before he's missed. How? 
His trail is easy enough to follow. Is no, it wasn't. Chasing a dream of a girl who's been missing for how long? Something about it must have moved him. I don't know, but it feels like a little, a little like four years ago. All right, so he's missing. Perfect. Yeah, he's missing. Follow Ori, which means we could take time to go to all these locations and set up shop on them. All right, so hang on. Good news yeah. is, uh, if you look at the map, uh, Eben's Pool, like the place we were at last, that's the only way to get onto the next set of uh, locations. So if we build defenses there, we can literally make a choke point. Yeah. We got time though. Yep. Let's see. Got there. Or else. Oh no, because we didn't build the stuff in the past things, we can't build them on some of these places. Like Dark Shrine, we can't build anything there anymore. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, it's really just depending on do you want to save the people or do you want to prepare for the future? Yeah. Uh, that's a rude choice. You have to choose one or the other thing. Yeah. And what this game makes you make. Like, in one, for people who haven't been there before, this game will occasionally, like, in one storyline, you have to choose between losing an arm or taking a risk. Yeah. Meeps, okay. what's the situation up ahead? I. You have to see this for yourself. Come with me. Oh, God. Meeps is one of those people who's like, hey, guys, you want to come and see this without actually telling them what it is? The living side by side with Morthagi. Hello, friends! Ah, stab. Isn't the view from here great? You can see everything for miles around. <laughs> you know, if Magnolia's here, she'd her scream of fear would be, ah, weak hands, and she wouldn't be afraid. She'd be afraid of seeing hands that weak. Yep. It is. That's true, Gren X. It is hard to choose from. Like the game. That's the thing. It's as he can probably back me up on this one. This game. Despite its appearance and its very kind of like laid back nature, there are times in this game where you will second guess a lot of the decisions you make. Like in the previous, like, um, was it the previous story or the two stories before where we fought the dragons? Um, I believe it was the story before this one. Yeah. So when we fought the dragons, Azzy and I, like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a character in the dragon story that you see everything basically go wrong for her. And Azzy and I kept thinking, well, maybe there's a way we can undo this. Maybe there's something we can do in the final clash where she can actually, you know, we can make things better. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. In fact, we just made it worse. So this game does have you second guess a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, like a big thing as well. Um... No, it was two matches ago where you fought the dragon. The last one we fought the robe, uh, the, the, the Morthagi. Yeah. Yep, and there's a choice. Basically, you can sacrifice one of your own to gain allies for the final fight, which we w which we chose not to do. Yep. So it made I the final fight harder, but we also you know kept all our people. Mm -hmm. hmm. And Grinex says, "I remember playing Fable Three. I'm glad I ended up stumbling upon the secret route just by fancifying everyone's homes and becoming a rich landlord. Ah, capitalism." Ah, uh, yes, capitalism. For Fable 3, everyone would hate you, but you're technically still a really good ruler. You just raise everyone's freaking rent to the freaking roof. Oh, no, that's the thing. You don't have no. to do that. You could just raise your ability to play the loot or something, and you could still be a generous and kind-hearted soul, and then just go play money all over, go play music all over the world and generate more than enough money to save everybody. It's so Also, dumb. gotta say, uh, in my chat, Juju, I can't get any bigger as a hellhound. Once the Joy-Cons come out, that's like the max size. Can't get any chunkier. Well, but if you come to my stream, there is a thing uh, for channel points that you can make Azzy bigger. So. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Grinex says uh, everyone had 5% taxes, so everyone was happy with me. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so. um, Also, Lord Rallys, can you post another link in my chat? The pin ran out. Yeah, uh, Rallys, can you. Uh, yeah, Rallys, can you make another multi stream for Azzy? Right. Did you read this dialogue, by the way? I was distracted. Yeah. Say, you two look tired and hungry. Why don't you all come on down and join us for dinner? We do a huge communal feast every night. And there's always plenty. Uh, sure. Thanks. Hi, friends. Welcome to Harthau. Hi, thanks. Hello. <laughs> oh, God, wait, back up. Back up. 
Look at Magnolia's face. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, she was in the last one against Morthagi, too. Yeah, the PTSD comes in hard. <laughs> when the PTSD Yeah, hit. when the PTSD kicks in. Okay, that's just creepy. Split up. Yes, all right, gang, let's split it up and look for clues. Yeah, I mean, Shaggy uh, Scooby. Enjoy the park. Yeah, Shaggy and Scooby, you guys head downstairs. Velma, Velma, Daffy, and I are going to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the party, but stay on guard. This feels off. L later. Well, something weird is going on. Everyone's just so happy. Isn't that a good thing? I just saw a wooden cut herself by mistake, and everyone just laughed, including her. Maybe it's something in the food. Oh, come on! I just finished eating! Uh, uh, did you two check that out? What is it? No clue, but it looks like some sort of energy is flowing in and out of it. Welcome, oh, well oh, sorry, go uh, ahead. <laughs> Welcome, strangers! I see you found the Merrymaker! What does it do? <laughs> Joey Joe says, like a change of plans for like a change of plans, Fred. Me and Scoob got the bedroom. <laughs> oh, what? God. Oh god, Joe. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> yeah. No, Daphne, yeah. Va Daphne Velma, you two go down to the basement. Shaggy and I are going to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a trip. You always want to make a trap, Fred. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, the trap sec- um, Like, I wouldn't- Like, asexual Fred who just really likes making traps. Yeah. And yeah. That one, I think Mystery You hear me, world? Because, like, I love mysteries and traps! Like, he he's so weird in Mystery Incorporated, but but we love him. We love him for him. Wait, wait, have you, do you- Did you ever see in Mystery Incorporated where they reference, like, Scrappy as, like, this PTSD incident? No, I don't. What's the, what okay. happens when in Mystery that? Incorporated? There's this. I don't know if it's like a dream they're in or something else, but they've um. It might be a movie. I don't remember. But there's a scene where Daphne and uh, Fred are together, looking at all these um, at all these like past villains and events they've dealt with as Mystery Incorporated, and they come across this like Daphne screams and like grabs onto Fred. She's like, I thought we were done with him. Why is he still here? And it's a statue of Scrappy. <laughs> Fred says, "Don't worry, he's not. He goes, he's gone. He can't hurt us anymore." <laughs> That's great. And yeah, Gridex is right. You don't understand. I just really love traps. And then he stutters and cries in front of Daphne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, great times. Also, I've gotten a new drink. Time to hydrate myself with monster energy. Oh, boy. Oh, great. That's just what you need. It's going to make you even bigger. Great. I think you want to see my tummy larger. Yeah. See. Why yeah. It yeah, go ahead. Why it provides town folks with unlimited happiness. At what cost? Oh, nothing big. Just a tiny bit of their life essence. Safe enough to power the machines. Oh, now then, don't look so terrified. Horrified. They all knew the price going in. I have signed contracts. Let me guess. Signed in blood. The only I can imagine Magnolia being like, ah, the only thing, the only thing worse than horrible machines is lawyers. Yeah. The only thing worse than machines like this, like control, it's life sucking machines, lawyers, is people with weak hands. And considering you're missing an arm, you must have some really weak hands. <laughs> See, uh, all right, want to destroy it again? Smash it. I'm sorry you feel that way. Also, her face looks so funky right yeah, here. Yeah, it does. That doesn't look like a face of anger. That just looked like a face of disappointment. Also, she's 71. Ooh, a water spirit. Ooh, yeah. Hey, anyone need... Hang on, anyone who doesn't have an enchanted weapon yet? Let's see. Gear, she has... An her hammer isn't enchanted. Let's see. I have artifact stuff. Let's see. Okay, you know you've said it as you, so I have to say it. You like, when they when they arrive, I'll smash them with a hammer. <laughs> Let's see. 
Yeah, the only yeah, Linus is the only one who can benefit from the water spear by replacing his dagger with a water dagger. Nah, it's all right. He doesn't really use his dagger anyway. I'll just send Meeps for it to just get the point. Sir. Sure. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I want plushies of them. I've heard of water spirits, of course, but nothing beats seeing one in person. Yeah, they're so cute. Run free, spirit one. Bravery! Dang it. Nice shot. Oh, so you have to shoot something proper. <laughs> oh. Come get me, you bastard! She's got her clockwork axe. <laughs> also, how, didn't they make Scrappy the villain the first live action Scooby Doo yes. movie? Yes. That's because everyone that was hated weird. him. By the way, three more days till Digimon World Next Order comes out. Yeah, I've heard about that. Unfortunately, um, okay, so I'm about to out myself here. I have never had good luck with any of the Digimon games at all. That's one of the reasons why I kind of fell out of the series after a while. None of the games ever really grabbed my attention. Like, ever, like, I I'm willing to say that I put more time into Digimon World Dawn on the DS than I'm willing to admit. But that's because I was a kid in high school and didn't understand, like, the intricacies of the game. So... But I have heard good things about Cyber Sleuth and all that. Wow. Uh, huh. Mm, we, 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 it's a tier 2 sword, but we should probably salvage it because yeah. everyone has everyone has artifact weapons. Yeah. And yeah, Dawn, um... Yeah, Dawn was... Ugh, Dawn was a headache. But it did give me one of my... It did give us really cool Digimon. Like... I still love Coronamon and Apollomon, though Galmon will always be my favorite. Don't at me. Wait, what did- I'm sorry, what did that just say? Corali and Meeps have, have fallen, fallen in, in love. love. Hmm. Meeps is like, I, I love you, and I love how your hands are getting stronger by the day. Coronamon appears as a- yeah, I've heard about that. Um, I've also heard Cross Wars is very underrated from what people have told me, but... Oh, we can get Wolf! Really? Yeah, we can! Yep. Yeah. So we can oh, get... Oh, we need one more point, though. Yeah, we can either get Corbera or, um... Well, I can get Corbera, Argofell, or Hobji. So... Yep, yeah, I could get Corbera or, uh, my big wolf. Uh, how about... Let's see... Should we get the bit? Should we get the five star or should we go for the two star wolf? Uh, whatever you think is best. Mm, let's go for two star because Cobra. Yeah. Uh, that way you can save Cobra as well, and also we give her more chances to evolve mm -hmm. into more wolf. Let's see battle dance. Let's see. I should also mention like um. I shall mention. I know a people. Mm, I don't know what everyone's how the community sees it now but i do give data squad and sa slash savers a lot of my praise for pulling me back in and making me a digimon fan and personal opinion here i personally think that of, out of all the digimon series that have ever been dubbed data squad probably has the best dub because the actors they got are really good and put a lot of love and, and you know commitment into their roles so even if the script was kind of shit at some points like, can't blame them for that. Anyway, Azirella and Coralia went into town amid a hum of tension and talk. Malio Bagari's this boisterous? Corbera Argofell's just slain a monster. What, and what, we were invited? Nasty thing was trying to creep up from the forest. Corbera took care of it, though. It was something to watch. It was gross. This wasn't just a fight, it was a performance. I swear I saw her stop to look back at us and wink multiple times. Where is she now? Out by the barns, cultivating a fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Any... <clears throat> uh, actually, do you... I... Was she my character yeah, she or yours? Yeah, she was yours. Alright. 
Anyway, a few days rest, some potent brew, and I'm sure I'll be at the top of my game again. Did I malo Malioberg then? Well, just the one, so not the moment anymore. Ah. You finally found a tavern that cooks your eggs right in a fump. Monsters. Every time. You'd know about that, wouldn't you? The fumping. <laughs> oh, shush. I'll fump you. Oh, wait. I already did. Yeah. Sounds like you've got quite a knack for taking them down, though. We're looking for that. Oui. Is he real a dreamer? The retainers of the unbroken divinity. I've heard of you. Cobera Argofell. You've heard of you, too. So for those who don't know, it is possible for characters to become werewolves, though this world's version of a werewolf is just like, just a wolf person, but triggering the event to become a werewolf is random, so you don't know when it's going to happen. And when it does, basically like any transformation, you don't get all of it at once, it comes in pieces. And you can choose whether to advance the transformation at the end of a chapter, basically. So... All right, on to the next location. See, I'm gonna have Meep start building defenses. Sure. See, now let's go for hide and fabric both. What the uh, fuck is that? Well, we can't do anything about it, so just let it happen. Yep. Oh, yeah, Grin X, I remember that bit, but I also admit, Data Squad did give me one of my... The reason that sold me on it was the conversation between Yoshino and Marcus, because I love the conversation... The, how real it felt, but I, it's still ingrained in my head. I don't like this any more than you do, but orders are orders. Then I order you to get out. Sorry, I can't. You two are arguing like an old married couple. We're not a couple. Like, it's <laughs> a, just again, when voice, and I stand by this, when voice actors are fully able to embody their roles and they are allowed to become the character, the interactions between themselves and others feel more real. And because of that, it gets you drawn in. And I will also say that, again, personal opinion on this one. It, it's, it's really tough to be a voice actor when you're not really allowed to use physical emotion, like physical display as much. I know a lot of voice actors professionally don't do this, but there are some of them who will go out of their way to like dress up as a character or like walk around the recording booth while they're doing stuff. They have to get into the character. Like, you can go look up some old video game stories of, like, people doing voice acting for video games and they're flailing their arms around and doing all this kind of stuff. It's it's hard to do when you're not allowed to do any, like, physical kind of acting with it. It's just your voice, and that can be kind of tough. So. Hey, also, Hop is talking about how he's happy that they're finally switching out Ash for Pokemon. I, yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I am too. Anyway, let's continue. Almost as strong when ironworks, are we? Hold on, I think the wind will tell me. Oh, I'm not big wind. I'm not the wind girl, am I? Yuff. Yeah. Uh, but there is a big hill. Ah, <sighs> well, that was whew, steeper than it needed to be. Quite a view, though. I'll say that atop, atop the, the highest, highest hill. hill. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a hey, Azirella. Uh-oh. Coralia, this isn't safe. Perhaps I am the wind girl. No, please. Let's not make that a thing. Alright, let's try it. You realize we have to take this and raise our own little Craig Eagle, right? It's a 40% chance! Coralia, it's fine. It'll just be two seconds. Alright, she, she failed. There's no way. How should I... I guess this old flower sack... Corellia's here! It's about to be... Whoosh. <laughs> She's like, oh god, no! Ah! Hurry up! Faster! 
In the back, little buddy. Oh my god, no. Did she make it? Duck! Whack! Oh god. Curse flat. My egg! She's shattered! It could be our skulls next! Oh, they managed dang. to scramble down safely the rest of the way. Darn it. I have I have yet to succeed in that one. Yeah. I've, I counted it multiple times and I have yet to succeed. Hold on, let me actually check what you get from doing it. Um, let's see. One moment. I imagine it hatches and you get like a pet. Maybe. Let's see. So here's the thing, you don't actually. So no matter um it says if you um hmm. Let's see, uh, success. The heroes capture the egg, and the encounter begins with fortitude. All members gain one hit points, and the following line is added to the hero's history. The bird would hatch and grow to become a half wild ally, bringing treasures sometimes from distant la distant lands, and eventually it stopped returning. But you failed, so the egg breaks, and the hero gets minus twenty goofball. The hero starts the next battle with a wound. One party member loses half of their hit points to start combat. But if you leave it be, that's the cool part. Just the party leaves without touching the egg. After encountering the mother at a close distance, the party finds an eagle feather talisman. Ah, oh well. Too late to do anything about it now. Yeah. That night, they hear a shrill, distinct keening that rises from the hills, mournful and unbreaking. The stars throb. Something covers them for an instant, and they reappear. The fire pecks pine cones and scatters sparks. Minus 20, 20 goofball. Ouch. Ooh. Isn't, like, wasn't her main stat supposed to be goofball, too, or something? Yeah. Let me see. Let's see, stats. No, she's, no, she's the curse. She has zero goofball now. Yeah, well, now she just can't... She won't be funny anymore. Oh, no. But she's, but she's snarky, so does that mean she's just gonna be a jerk? Yeah, she'll just be a jerk. I've evolved into an a-hole. I can't be funny anymore because all my funny... All my funny got knocked out of me by an eagle. I can't hit anything, I don't think. No, I can, actually. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't hit anything. Never mind. Whoosh. Humor. <laughs> Humor gives you weak hands. Humor. <laughs> I'll block the door. Ow. Try again. Bonk. Bonk. The bird! Speaking of weak hands, you know, do you think we should show them the whip, Azzy, or do you think we should wait? I'm thinking... I kind of want to show the whip. Okay, we will, after this fight, we will. We'll show them. Because for those who don't know, two weeks ago, Azzy and I laughed and made a joke about how It'd be funny if we got some art of both of us wearing a shirt that says, You can't hurt us with those weak hands. Someone's actually doing it. So. Got him. Let's put that out. Alright. Guard. Now then. Wait, did he just walk through me? He walked around you, I guess. Oh. But hey, look! People in a row. Yep. Let's see. Die. Nice.
Who's left? Karalia. I just heard that sound you make with those bendy straws. Um, yeah, that comes from. I think that might come from the uh, some of the spell effects. Oh God! Oh my God! I'm getting beat up. Holy crap! Hold on, we got it. Get behind me, Doctor! There we go. Not escape. Feel the wrath of the harvest ability. Fetch me their souls. Him blocking the way, we can destroy. Very nice. Nice shot. Hmm. Okay, this works. Whoosh. Yep. Die. <laughs> There you go. Uh, inches away from the next level. Yep. Right, plus health. Uh, let's give that to Cobera. Yep. It is called a wolf heart sash, so. <laughs> let's secure the place to give everyone time to recover. Yep. And then we'll need to find a place to cut off this coming uh, incursion. Wow, nice. This accuracy, uh, let's give it to Ezirella for more accuracy. Mm -hmm. uh, let's prepare some defenses here. Here they come. Oh, that was the wrong place. All right. Yeah, just send everyone. I don't know if we'll get to tier three, but well, oh, the last resort. Since I was very small, one dream has returned to me again and again. Blue fire, threads of darkness, heat, and terror. Okay, so, um, Azzy, why don't you explain to everyone what this is? Um, so opportunities are basically each character has one of, or has three hooks, and at any given moment, um, while you're in the overworld, a hook might be triggered. It'll select two characters mandatory to go through it, and it'll send them off on a little adventure unique to that hook. Um, and by the time you finish it, things will happen. You'll have a nice story. And the person who had the hook triggered will have their personal quest completed and they'll gain 10 years to retirement age and a free level up. Mm -hmm. And this is Azurella's uh, opportunity, so. Yep. And I've spoken of it before, Karalia. I have nightmares that curl my soul of a place I've never been. A torched house, the blue blaze eating bones. I feel dread. Have you said that? Are you sure you weren't talking to, speaking to a different Coralia? Are you being funny? 
Absolutely not. Please continue. <laughs> she just, I like to imagine that she's tried to uh, be funny before and just no one laughs at her jokes. Yeah. Yeah. When I asked you to come with me on a little trip, I didn't tell you how far we might be going. I didn't tell you our destination is the place I've dreamed of all of my life, or that I worry death awaits for us there. But you see, following a dream is a kind of last resort for those who can't go back to sleep. Have you thought of that, of just drinking warm tea? No? Fine, I guess I'm in. Just can't right, make it in. It? Yeah, it's bad timing for it, but... Oh, cool. Right, that means meeps. meeps can head down and join the group. Maybe. We'll just have three warriors and an archer. Cobera and Linus have fallen in love. Oh, dear. That's oh. a bad combo. So, the... So, <laughs> the partial furry and then the OC furry. Hmm. Alright, the, fur <laughs> the furry's getting on with each other. A thick-grown woodland seems to invite them under its bows. Wood and damp and the fall herbs that grow here all combine for a heady, fragrant, z fragrant zest in the air. Good spot for a spirit type encounter. Saying stones are kind of unusual. Hey, who are you dingots setting up camp on my doorstep? Get away from my omen stones! This place yours? Ask his name. Hey, no need for the... I, I didn't see you had weapons. You're out, you outlaws? You don't have to kill me. We were startled, that's all. He's old. Jesus. T tactless. Humorless, tactless, no maidens. <laughs> My name's Azirella. This is Karala Karalia. We're from far away. Azirella? But you're the wilderness woman from my dreams. You keep saying I got no maidens. Well, where are yours? <laughs> my name is Hadius Liverbale. Hadius of Omens is how I'm known in Moose Flank. <clears throat> and now it seems... Are you, are you okay there, Zuru? It's <laughs> just the name of the town. <laughs> Moose Flank. Please, come with me. So there's also, I'm remembering, there's an achievement, so we have to finish the game with Coralia, Azirella, Magnolia, and um, the brother. So let's see, that makes, does that make five? No, that's four. I see. No, there's one more person that's going to join us in the future, and we okay. have to bring them with us. Okay. So, Azirella, I want to trust him, but we don't know him. Be wise. The woodland fellow leads them among the trees. To the door of his secluded home. Be welcome. There's bark cheese and brined pork. Also upon my table, please find enlightenment. This cheese, it's... Perfect. These old beams have stood me well. I chose a lucky spot, but I had the advantage of dreaming it. See, I've had dreams since I was a small boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this the same thing? Right. Yeah, is this the You've same encountered thing? this before, yeah. Yeah, but it was an old woman in that one. Yep, it's an old man now. I'm just also, at the moment they mentioned perfect cheese, I'm just thinking cheese! Yeah, for cheese everyone. for everyone! Wait, scratch that. Cheese for no one. Which may as well be a celebration is <laughs> equal if you don't like cheese. Wonderful! I'm so ecstatic I could rip out your intestines and strangle you with them! <laughs> Dreams. True ones. Tensions that change the future. Dreams that portend what may come. My grandmother was a seer also. Something some folks get born with, I suppose. He swigs bright blackberry wine. I was a young man when I got run out of town. Hadius of Omens, they called me. I told them the stores would burn, and so they did. It was a stray cinder. Folks blamed me. 
As they will. You didn't try to change their minds? But I knew it would happen. I told my mother and ailing father and left before the drunk showed up. My parents got to stay and live happily and visited me often in the later years. Life out here has been lonely sometimes. Yeah. But rewarding in many ways. Time to time, folks come and they drink from the well of sights my dreams have filled in me. And now you've come, Azirella. I'm creaking through my final years, but you've got the gift to be the next woodland seer. The next woodland seer? Azirella? Yes. It would be the birth of a tradition, which will only strengthen the magic. In the many years I see left for you, you can help keep this world safe. Though not in the way you've done. I'll teach you. We do have time for that. For many future incursions, but if you want the achievement, we have to keep Azirella. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd recommend uh, losing it this time. Yeah, and like, didn't, um, mm, even if we take her, doesn't it say later, like in our last thing, she comes back and she learns anyway? Mm hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. But she, but she won't be able to uh, yeah. thwart incursions. Oh well. My work is out there. My calling is to the track and to the battle. Please understand, I'm honored. But there's a role I play, and people look to me. I have to know what I know. I have to know. I have to do what I know I can do. I understand. What I don't oh, understand well. is why you've come. It seems you have some other purpose. Cassirella, your dream led us here. Do you think this... From outside, a tremendous roar erupts, shaking the stones of the house. Stay here. I dreamed this place would be devoured by flames. I've been given the chance to stop that happening, and I will. We might actually be able to get back in time. Yep. Let's see. Hey, this is all you, because it's your characters. Kill them. Do it. Do it now. The inner fuse. Oh boy, rock! My favorite! Both weapons, discus. There we go, that was quick. The wombo combo. Uh, Fire trip in my chat. Oh, uh, RP time over. Battle time now. Yeah. And Corellia levels up. Let's see. Upgrade ignite. Ignite can be used on tiles without debris on them. That sounds great, actually. Day stitch the dueling sword. Bird up. Bird up. I'll actually swap out Cobera's. Oh, stone greatsword for this. Go ahead. Bear strength pauldron. See, uh, let's give that to Cabrera as well. She's gonna need it. Yeah. Actually, let's give it to Magnolia. All right. I got it. It won't help right now, but it'll help her in the future. Mm -hmm. After the fighting's done, the grateful Hadius throws a small feast to thank them. The Woodland Seer, it seems, never foresaw this possibility. This random, raving monster that would have devastated all he built. He and Azirella talk late into the night, sharing old dreams, wisdoms, and what-ifs. The old man sees them off in the morning. What'd he give you? There's a new parcel among Azirella's things. Mm. Oh, a keepsake. Something used to wear. Anyone could use it. Myself, I received a gift, a great, a great gift from Hadius. Just knowing there was someone who understood. Knowing these dreams have a purpose. That's about challenging fate, not accepting it. That's a lot of things you got. He's a generous man. Some days later. We'll be in town by night, I think. Hey, Azurella. You're going to ask whether I'll think about it? The what if? Staying with Hadius and seeing if I could do what he does? Yeah. Will I regret it? The chance to learn, I suppose, but I've got good friends. I need to stand beside them. Last resort, though. I could always go back. Oh, uh, and it's called The Last Resort. Yeah. That's... Wow. Fox Court Cloak. More Plus armor. 0.5 armor. Give it to Magnolia. Uh, 
given to Magnolia. Also, Cataclysm, Gold Horn Hunter. Cataclysm shrunk you back down, so... No! I have to, I have to get work, work on fixing it. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm, what should I get? Bard passive reduces the cost of recruit drops by one plus five chance to stunt chance to all heroes in the party or upgrade sharp. I'll upgrade sharpshooter because I could yeah. do with more rain. Calamities. Alright. Alright, let's, right, let's send Corali because we need at least need one wizard with yeah. the group. And then I'll send myself to finish this job. Nope, didn't make it in time. But that's okay. We can wait a bit longer. Alright. Gather. I think you Oh, can we gather everyone? Yeah. Neeps and Linus are rivals. Alright, we have five people here. We might want to start the fight before we lose the defenses. Yeah. They won't be able to withstand it, unfortunately. The Thrixel have come. Motes of light shimmer and splash, flow like water on their prismatic shells. It's a hypnotic, almost beautiful DOOM! How should the defenders respond? Here you go, then, Azurella. I got 90% chance to stay hidden yes, from lines. Holy crap. Yeah. I've never seen one that high. I mean, look at him. He's literally the shadows and edge incarnate. Of course he can <laughs> hide in the shadows. <laughs> it's close. All right, let's go with that. Or you read Concealed that? amid their surroundings, they elude to frustrated eyes of the enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. Wait for it. I'm Batman. <laughs> Stealth and cunning. Blinking attacks this combat deal plus one damage. Yep. And they're all grouped up, so if we want to fire a volley of arrows at them. Uh, you see them? Uh, take them out. I do. Volley! Uh, wait, hold on. Right, let me do it. There we go, hold on one second. Volley fire, present, loose! Oh, dang. There we go. Very nice, very nice. As uh, Magnolia over here looking like a paladin with full plate and with a cloak. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Smite. Yeah, divines for the power of smite! <laughs> see, I'll have Meep's guard right there. You know, it's actually funny that I'm actually... I actually enjoy being bigger than you on my own screen. It's actually... that's rarely ever happens. I think your chat should fix that. That's on them to decide. Bonk. <laughs> my... My goal is clink, clink, clink. I'm yeah. stealthy. I'm stealthy. I rolled a nat 20 on my stealth check. Alright. Yeah, we can wombo combo this thing into a blue Bigger. I hit wrong, it. Wrong one, Cheshire. It's I'm using my PNG. You have to use that one. And then you can hit. Hey, Cataclysm, if you're here, could you refund Cheshire's points, please? Because, yeah, you have to use, like, depending on if I'm using uh, VTube Studio or my PMG. There we go. Oh, my God. Linus. Oh, shit. Linus, no. Say, uh, better back off. Next time, maybe. Yeah, let's see if the hit is worse than Lance said race for. He struggles to stay up. Uh, I thought I was made of tougher stuff than this. Everything goes slow and dim, and then he backs yeah, off. Yeah, Another day, perhaps. 
I can be patient. Not broken, but perhaps a bit bent. Linus slips away. <laughs> Wrong one, babe. So, for reference, so this is a good time to at least explain. Um, uh, so, that death mechanic... Basically, once per chapter, you get a kind of freebie. As in, you don't die, but you will. You can choose to die, but if you choose to survive and keep the character, they will suffer a consequence. They'll either lose health or lose a limb. Yeah. So. Also, uh... uh hey, hey Mao Mew. Uh, thank you for liking my character. I do like being a big hellhound. I have many forms I can be. Okay, that, that was weird. It kind of canceled itself out. Hold on. Um, so one second. I gotta gotta fix something real quick. Don't know why that happened. One moment. There no it issue. is. Okay. Say, so, hey, I'm back to... Yeah. My girlfriend shrunk me back down, so congratulations. Now you've ensured that Azzy has the open path to dominate my stream. Watchers! Okay. So yes, with that death mechanic, Linus is fine, but if he gets knocked down again, uh, he's dead. Per he'll be dead permanently. So. Whoops. I forgot about. Yeah. The tricky thing, Azzy, is that because of the way your P and G's are, like, how they're all different sizes, like, it's impossible to, like, set them all to, like, work normally. So, like, if I if someone clicks for it to shrink back to normal, it makes your Hellhound one bigger. So I have to keep adjusting it. Here we go. Cataclysm, how could you? You in my stream now. Also, for reference in my chat, what we're talking about is there's a multi-stream link if you want to check it out that I have pinned in the uh, chat. Surprise, I motherfucker! Should be the oh my god, there's a- look at that line! What line? Oh, wow! It's a Dweaver train! Kill them all! <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Time to blitz over there. Yeah, shame we don't have any arrows. Let's see. Meanwhile, Magnolia is going to kill the bard. Let's yeah, see. have her take care of him. Oh I my am. god. We can trust Magnolia to just demolish. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Oh, they could teleport. I forgot. Ow, my warding. Okay, you die now. Also, we have arrows, like a, a volley if you want to use it. Hmm, I'll use it on these two. Volley fire present! Or it will! Nice. Hey, Zeruk is in their monster form in their shame. Yep, that's what we've been saying. Zeruk is trying to get you all to watch his stuff instead of mine. Well, the main thing is that you can make people's PNGs bigger on my stream. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, also, GrinX makes a good point. Insert Super Mario 2 Yoshi's Island Bowser boss theme. Look, all right, I'm going to be real with you. If somebody wanted to draw Azzy and I as, like, in that whole Yoshi's Island, uh, you know, Yoshi's Island ba uh, final boss, like, style, I'd be cool with that. It's the ultimate boss battle. you got to fight two people, not one. <laughs> and there that goes... Linus needs to super fall back. Yeah. Send Everyone him, else. Send him to Malioberg. Okay, three defenses. All right, let's go scout here now. Let 
Linus is back. Let's have him prepare some defenses. Uh, Cataclysm, I, I get it, but okay. Well. Bigger! Also, oh my god, he has a lot of points. Well, can't even see my eyes anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, should we use any points, or should we uh, let the Thrixel be a bit, just a bit stronger? It's all right if they're a little bit stronger. We can have we can handle it. All right, we'll keep our resources. We know how to prior we know how to prioritize targets. There's nothing but chaos in my stream. Every time Cataclysm makes me huge, my girlfriend shrinks me back to normal. Oh, I'm abusing my shrink mechanic to make me bigger. And I gotta fix your PNG again, because... I no. guess, well, again, like I said, because of the way how all your PNGs are different sizes, if someone hits shrink your PNG, the Hellhound one just grows massive, so I have to adjust hey, it. And hey, uh, if you want to be in my chat, you can change my appearance on Zurich stream as well. Yes, you can. Because I make a match. All right. Rumors of Thrixel have led the retainers of the Unbroken Divinity through tangled woods to the site of long-forgotten ruins. Windworn rock and decayed edifices are all that remain of this ancient city. I mean, that there's nothing in the local histories about what kind of people they were, what happened to them. Could have been a war that wiped them out, or a plague left on behind to tell their story. Show goes this way. Doesn't look too old. Wonder what these buckos are up to all the way out here. Maybe they're looking for a new place to call home. But they're Thrixel feet. <laughs> and what's not to like about old runes? Stolen work solid, anyway. There's truth in that. I mean, if you want a good example of that, good, uh, let Zaruk be a history nerd for a second. Modern concrete, the stuff we use to build stuff with, if you don't take care of it, it'll last around 50, maybe 100 years. We have ancient Roman concrete that is still standing today. So, yep. solid stonework is, yeah. Yep. Solid stonework is solid. Mm -hmm. uh, also, fair trip in my chat. Fatness up wouldn't work at this point, but I'm talking mainly about. So, in Zurich's chat, you can make me bigger with his stuff, or in my chat, you can just change my form if you yes. want. If you want to see different forms. Everyone in Zurich's chat, currently, there's a Boss Master form, a Night Fury form, a, a Kobold form, and Hellhound. Yep. So, lots of options. Humans aren't the only ones who've learned to use what the dead leave behind. The dead. Also, hey, Gillyman. Sometimes it's... You forget most of them were just plain, ordinary folks. Living their lives. You know, with all the ho usual hopes and fears. And everyday concerns. Thousands of females have trodden these streets every day. Exchanging goods, information. And when night fell, family would huddle in the houses here. Trade stories over a meal, brought their children to sleep. Hey, Jacket, how you doing, bud? I'm just playing, uh, I'm doing good. I'm playing Wildermyth with Azzy over here. Hey, Jacket. Let's see. Guess they formed friendship, same as us. Helped each other through the hard times. Oh, this is Azibo, uh, Jacket. I am just a hellhound right now. Yeah, the tattoos help, the hel tattoos help signify me. Yeah, I know, Jacket. I play, yeah. It's, been a while, but I still think our search is over. In the pit of an old amphitheater, the Thrixel mill about, idly dismembering old statuary. No, they're destroying the history. Kill them. Yeah, I, I am. B, I am B Rose. <laughs> no, that's me, Jacket. It's me, Rose. It's just a different form. My whole gimmick is that I change forms, so there's the goat monster, but there's that night fury, and there's a hellhound, and now there's a kobold. I love how we have a character who's saying thoughts, do we just bust in? And laugh What's that smile? Yeah. Thoughts, do we just bust in? Intimidation? I think we should go for intimidation. Just yeah, go for it. it. Bunch of them staying under that pillar. How about I bring it down? Zoom. And Smack it crushes them. them. All foes suffered my two damage. Ooh, leaf spirit. 
I think I could have Kobera go for it with the go for it. dueling sword. Wait, isn't that dueling sword an artifact? Nope, this is just a regular old dueling sword. Okay. I mean, just gang up with Magnolia. Azurella pop in. Yeah, yeah, yeet. Ah, dang. <laughs> oh, he split! Oh, I forgot oh, that's they terrifying. did that. terrifying. Once you hit them, they split with the remainder of their health. Hmm. Didn't know you had another form besides oversized Azrael. Well, that's the base form, but it's, you know, I let people change how I look at them. Also, look at all the stone here with someone who's a master in using stone. Yep. Rock time. Bonk. Rock and stone! <laughs> if, if, if bros came to Ezreal, it'd be a mother and son collab, because Zach looks like Tori, I'm not gonna lie. I do? I, I mean, feel like. I mean, you, they're a goat monster, but I wouldn't say they look like Toriel. I look, well, I'm a boss monster. You can blame Azzy for that, though. It's Azzy's magic that turned me into a goat monster. You can't tell me what to do, TFs you. <laughs> hey, kid, you got a license? For, you can't skate here. You can't tell me what to do, blown up by landmine. <laughs> look, I don't care what people say. ASDF movie will always be funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dueling sword. Yeah. Kicks in door. Did I hear a rockin' stone? Yeah. Slender Day song. Wow. Yeah, let me fix that. That looks cool. There we go. I, f I fixed the name. What'd you name it? I Hey, check the character if you want to see. Hold on. What did you do? <laughs> Wilder's Day song. Wilder's Day song? Um, were you trying to say Wildermyth? No, can't. Oh god, no, why is it moving? I, did, I keep trying to click on characters and then it could, Yeah, no, it's not... Why a wider day song. I see it now. Alright, so I wasted my turns because it kept freaking moving me. It's alright, I got it. Die! I'm gonna take my revenge on you, Seeker. Dang it. <laughs> Screw gravity. Here, hold this. Thanks. Oh, yeah, did you see the video Tom Scott did about like what's so, what is by you know computer definition of like all his data and skits? What the best um, joke the is? Yeah, what the best joke is? Yeah, and have it, you um, seen that? One? Yeah, which one did it did it end up being? It ended up basically being like two people talking. A guy falls from nowhere, accidentally kills someone. He's like, oh, I'm still alive, and then <laughs> shoots himself in the face. Oh God, yeah. Remove the mind worm. No! Don't jump! Boop. Okay, now jump! Oh my god, stop. I hate. That's the one thing, like, if you're not careful, when it moves, you'll automatically move your character because it switches your camera around. Yeah. Move mind worm and then bite. Pump. And then stab. You don't have to worry about me. I don't bite. But do you stab? I don't bite. <laughs> You're leaving me? Sorry, Eddie. I found a real man. Hi, babe. Yes, I am real man. You want to go skateboard? What kind of man could do this? Skateboard. <laughs> Alan, are you a cow? What? No. Yeah, me neither. You guys want to go skateboard? All right, Jacket. Talk to you later, bud. Have a good one. See you, Jacket. Uh, let's see. Hey, burn. Hey, you got a license for that? You'll never take me alive. Burp. <laughs> Just <laughs> puts the trumpet to his head. Burp. Right. See you, jacket. Leave. Hey, hey, what time is it? It's muffin time! Actually, it's 
Somebody but kill me! <laughs> oh, Crawlier of the Giant. Huh. I, you know, screw it. I'll take it. It'll it'll unenchant my staff, but it also is a tier oh, upgrade. Yes, just give you a staff that has to do with giants. Just what you need. <laughs> As they're breathing stills, they hear the chittering of birds, the buzz of bees. Overgrown grasses rustle in the breeze. Gone quiet. That must have been the last of them. Wanna peek around for a bit? Could be, you know, hidey holes. Not far from where they fought, a section of flagstone appears to be coming up. Coralia pries some away with her toe, uncovering what appears to be a way below. With a little more effort, they widen out an entrance. How deep is it? Stairs. Gotta check it out, right? Any re good reason not to go? Down they climb into the ancient city's underbelly. Slimy things skitter away at their approach, and a rancid odor hangs in the air. Yeah, this is a mausoleum, I swear. Torch over here. Let me just... In a splash of light, their surroundings take color and shape. The passage opens into a small enclosure, an oval room. I don't understand why, the to why weren't the torches already lit. Where's the, where's the dungeon creature that's only purpose is to keep the lights on? <laughs> Bits of rotted wood and matted straw form the pale suggestion of a bed at one end. Smells, doesn't it? Looks like somebody must have lived here. Wonder why here, beneath the city. Scattered around the room are what remain of a life's possessions. Most are decayed or moth-eaten beyond recognition. Clay fragments, pottery pieces, a robe maybe? What's left of it? Maybe the colors have faded. If the Thrixel found this place, I'm guessing they didn't see anything worth taking. But there's one item that catches Coralia's eye. A small bone flute, set atop a stone pedestal. Alone, it appears to have survived the passage of years unmarred. Moon-colored, its surface is smooth, polished by the press of ancient fingertips. It begs to be held again. You got that look in your eye, Coralia. Hmm? Oh, I just remembered that toad-faced bard, Amy's Thorn, always spouting off about a people who lost their tongues, learned to speak through melody, through instruments like this one. Guess I wondered what their song would say. Their songs would say to us if we could hear them. The way it's placed, I think it was treasured by the hands that held it, well looked after. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should take it, like usual, or leave it behind this time? Your choice. Um, let's leave it this time. I've never left it behind. This place has survived for centuries. Don't think I want to be the one to disturb it. Maybe someone else will find it someday. A scholar, someone who can read their runes, keep their memory, tell their story. A few boulders will shield the stairway from storm and wind and unwanted intruders. When you take away with you, it's not just about what you put in your pockets. Looks at the outpost we'll hear a new story tonight. Oh, it gave us a legacy point. Nice. Alright. See, plus health. Uh, let's see. Let's give it to Magnolia. Go for it. Ooh, Coral Haven Beams. Coralia has a wish for a family home. Azareta just got back. Saw that. So... Magnolia, have you ever started, thought about starting a family? A family? Well, yeah, sometimes. I think about it, having kids. Also, fair trip, yes, a, fi a group of five is a full party. You can't have more than five in any party at once. You can split them up into multiple parties to go do multiple things at once if you want to divide and conquer. 
I'd raise them to be clever, obviously. Not like their mom, but then... It'd be such a, it's such a dangerous world, isn't it? Aye, especially if weak hands are hereditary. <laughs> so rude. This starts like- this sounds like the start of a quest. Okay. You've got a good questing ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Ezreal is playing a feast maybe after that. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so you can see six people at once, but we only have five working together. Yep. You can have a bunch of people, but only five of them can be doing any one thing at once, like combat or building or whatever. The idea is basically you'll have one full strength squad and then an understrength squad going around and doing, like, work that you need, like, the main squad to be while they're focusing on other stuff. The B team. Mm-hmm. Until you get enough to have, like, four each, and then you'll split them up into equally strength squads. Yes, someone is on their own right now. And yeah, you've got a good questing ear. Also, before we continue, as the maybe we should show them uh, the, the the work in progress. I'll show it on my stream, and you can show it on yours. Yeah, I'll show it on my stream as well. Uh, the artist is a Viola or uh, Mirror G's, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to show it too. And this, it's not done yet, but... I love the fact that, you know, we pitched the idea and they immediately grabbed on to the idea. So, let me show you all this. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, let me go Let me go uh, grab it on my end. I'm about to post it, so... Oops, wrong one. Hold on. Let me, uh, wrong thing. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Okay, here it is. Again, this is a work in progress. There you go. You can't hurt us with your weak hands. I love this. I love it so much. Oh, hang on. Echo, why is it echoing? Stop. I had to reopen your stream for some reason. It quit out. But yeah, if y'all want to see it, it's on my stream. But yeah, here it is. You can't hurt us with your weak hands. And on my stream, I'll show it off as well real fast. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those inside jokes that's silly enough on its own. Exactly. Exactly. Now, so fair to being rude, you can't just poke tummies for no reason. But yeah, it's a really good picture that I'm really excited mm -hmm. to see finished. Yeah. But then, I feel like for like from now on, this is just gonna be our intro. Im this should just once it's finished, it should be our intro image for Wildermyth. Yeah, I agree. Um, but again, it's just because like, let's give credit where credits due. It's also because Wildermyth just has amazing writing. Like that's the yeah. Thing. Also, yeah, you can't poke tummies because I'll fight you. I just can't fight you right now because for some reason I can't seem to reach very far. Hmm. It's a real mystery. Quite the mystery. But trust me, if you keep doing it, I swear I'll fight you. I'll like, beat you up and say, oh, wow, rude, Pharaoh trip. All right. I think we should just send Carly and Magnolia yeah, on their own. It. No need to split up the XP. How are you going to prepare against every kind of bad thing that might happen? I agree that if it were possible, I'd... It's not about that. Call it due diligence. Or, please don't, actually. That sounds so cold. Also, I'm just thinking about... <laughs> I see the rocks, I'm suddenly vividly rem remembering the one scene where it's just like... It's like, oh, you're inside me and my organs. And that is my immune system. And that's a pig. Hello, young one. Yeah. Oh my god, that pig can talk. <laughs> yeah, I remember. What is that. going on anymore? Yeah. This game is very well written and has some silly stuff in it. And hey, Thomas, no, you're good. And Haven Beams? Where'd you hear that? What is it? It's a boring story, kind of. I was visiting someone living out north of Mel Melbourne, an old acquaintance. Thunderstorm starts up. We're listening to these bolts fall, and I'm lip biting. It's a high house, but she says, "Don't worry." Points to the rafters. Haven beam. She calls the wood. It wards her house. 
Coincidence or not, her house has stood there untouched through fire, hail, wind, and other things. A little woodland spirit decides to make its own. That's a new one. It's probably unique. Mm -hmm. Bree, Bree. The spirit stands motionless for a moment. I see it. Shh, hold up. Also, don't worry, Fire Trip, you're fine. I'm just being a goober when I say no poking the tummy. Just being silly. It looks like Let's an see. avocado. It kind of looks like an avocado. The millennials will be after this one. <laughs> then it scampers along corridors of root, shadow, and trunk. I think we're in luck. Could be. They rush after it. Leaping rocks and snags and craggy tree feet. Deeper into the forest. To arrive at an evergreen grove all combed through with mist. The spirit darts and dances among the skirts of these luminous perfect trees. We have to cut one down? All well, those are them, even beams. All right, your call. I've honestly, never done this before. Yeah. yeah what, I, what's up? Honestly, I know it's your choice, but if I could add my two cents here. I don't... This game has gone out of its way to remind us that nature is something that you don't just, like... You're supposed to work in harmony with. You're not supposed to take advantage of it. And right. Now, granted, there have been times where, like, it's established in Wildermyth that if nature gives you permission, it's okay. Like, you're allowed to take your due as long as you take care of everything else. But this, I don't know. I don't feel very comfortable, if you know what I mean. I yeah, it's like... like... Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it alone for... The... Next time, if we get this again, I'll choose the other option. But I want to see what happens if we don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't often say this, but it feels wrong. Apologies, little one. We, uh... Why did you lead us here? Bree. Karavi's confusion won't last long. Plus one temp HP. Alright, I'll go left. I'll go right, you go left. Sounds good. Jump. Well, that's mine taken care of. That was quick. Um, I know you're as slow as the person uh, sending her around. Not about slow, it's how you use your strength. You're just fat. Uh, I've maybe. been attempting to make a simple moving gift since I don't tend to talk or have a camera when I'm streaming. It's my check. That's fair. Let's stunt champ. Blood for the blood uh, god. Let's give that. Yeah, screw it. Let's give it to uh, hmm. Azurella or Magnolia. Mm, give it to Magnolia, because then she'd have a twenty percent. She'd at least have a one in five chance. Mm, sounds good. <clears throat> Clear on this side. No movement here. Uh, attempting to make a simple. Stop movement right there, criminal scum! No, no nobody one breaks, breaks the, the law. law on my watch. watch. Stop right there, criminal Wait, scum. what's I'll happening? I'm being sworn by oblivion guards. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay Stop your fine. Stop right there, no. criminal scum. Help. Help. Breaks the law on my watch. <laughs> Just say, listen, I'm sorry, but this Stop is what right happens when you get over the uh, legally the law allowed watch. weight limit. <laughs> we just got too heavy. Goods. Now pay your fine. Or it's off to jail. Um, they, are they looking for someone who stole a cart's worth of food and assume you ate it all? Uh, the entire garrison has me surrounded. Um, uh, no. Resist arrest. <laughs> I'm testing which regimes need cooldowns. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then pay with your blood! Was the food... <laughs> are fair chips asking, was the food tasty at least, Saru? I mean, I would assume so. Then pay with then your pay blood! Then pay with your blood! <laughs> All right. Then pay with your Okay, blood. I get it. Let's see. So what's the story? The dropping? I think they were also here for... The spirit darts away again. We'll just keep chasing this Stop little... Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks we'll the law on my watch. keep chasing this little lady around. 
More confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. It's not a long walk to the densest depth of the woods. Ooh, a staff. Yeah. Where it appears something's been left for them to find. A gift? Or an offering. Are we meant to just... Well, Tree Ghost, thanks, I you guess. Can see the, no, back up. You can see the eyes. Look right here. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, you can see cool. the eyes. That was that thing was literally the will of the forest. That's why it looks so different. Yeah. Well, Coralia, I I mean, I guess this is all fine with you, right? Are you going to keep looking for... Why? Because we're leaving the trees untouched? Yeah. We went looking for haven beams, and we found them. But the trees had stood there so long, I think the spirit, the meaning of this place. Anyway, I don't know. And your future children? You still thinking about that? Oh, kids. Guess I'll have to do my best. And I trust my friends will help keep them safe. Don't be looking at me with those weak hands. <laughs> Will of the Forest staff. Wow. wow, it's even called Will of this the Forest. Na this natural form. Bonds trees on kill grants extra potency. Wow, I can just turn people into trees. Yep. Weak <laughs> Grinex weak hams. <laughs> weak hams. Look, weak. look. We can we look. Azzy and I made an agreement that Magnolia is Scottish, so she speaks with a, with my best Scottish accent. So weak on like uh, weak hams. Yeah. Let's see. Upgrade Earthscrub. Wall has more HP for the distance. Rock shield increase from plus 3 temp HP to plus 5 temp, temp HP. Mm -hmm. Steamed hams. So, what happens now? Do we regroup with them, or...? Yeah, let's... Let's see. Regroup with them. We'll just have them patrol while waiting. Yeah. Old form caverns stretch beneath Chasa Altar. Kanadia, keep up! We're pushing through! Come hold my hand. Aye, that's a good idea. Your weak hand holding on to some strong hands. <laughs> but only their back barking echoes answer them. See, let's get to the root of the problem. Shut up, Thomas! Also, Granix says, Yeah, I can see the XCOM vibe you're talking about. Reminds me when the, my friend made me an assassin in the second game with a shotgun. I got so broken I could shoot with it and stay stealth the entire game. Yeah, the you XCOM can... is stupid sometimes. Yeah, and not to mention there is like Linus playing a uh, playing a ranger. Linus has an ability that every time he gets a kill, he stealths. So he can stay permanently stealth if he keeps getting kills. So, yeah. And also. Like, as he and I have talked about this, we've considered having more people on with these things. So, if, like, Grinex, if you get the game or something, you're more than willing to join us at some point. Like, we want to introduce, we, right, as we want to introduce people to this game. Yeah, we want to introduce people and have more people to do stuff with. Also, have more people to do voices would be fun. Yeah. But yeah, Cataclysm, I know you have it, but you already do a lot of stuff with me. We want to get new, like, people who are new to streaming, or maybe want to get learn more about this game. What? I'm just branching out with my punts. Stop. <laughs> Thomas, you should probably quit while you're ahead and leave it be. Cease! Cease this heresy! If they continue, would you call it treason, then? I'm going to either get so big that I smother you, or I'm going to shrink you down so much that I can literally crush you with my bare hands. Stop. You can't lie, though. That was a great one. Yeah, that was glorious. Yeah. That was amazing. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Where's Kalalia? How many breaks does she have to take? <laughs> she's so mean to Kalalia in general. They're like friends, but she's just so mean to her. Time to make like we a tree. Hands and need Time to, to make like a tree and leaf. Uh, uh oh. Yep. Yeah. You're going. You open the floodgates again. 
Fine by me. Alright, we're just... Alright. Weird, I thought she was right... I thought... Mm, this place likes to your ears, I guess. I don't even smell her! And I can smell weak hands from a mile away! <laughs> I've already, yeah, it's a, they scour their steps for the last sign of Coralia. Be careful you don't break your neck, anyone, myself included. We do have here an, an off branch. An almost triangular crevice, and beyond is a twite, a t twite, tight, twisting tunnel. Yeah. Twite. Below them, in the coldening ground, in the fungal glow. Yep, yep, yep. This is exactly the thing I ought to be doing, by myself. Me and the unspooky mushrooms. Oh, and the treasure cave, which is, I suppose, what this is. Under blade-sharp stones, a wider space, a firmer shrine, there's a powerful smell, a heart smell, the heart of the mountain. And at first glance, she thinks a massive gray man is hunched over a blue-white flame. But she realizes... What is that? Smooth contours, perfect edges, carved? Not by tools any hands have held, especially not weak hands. <laughs> I expect you probably... I expect you probably sprout tentacles when I touch you, and you clench me up, squeeze my ribs to splinters. No, uh <laughs> Just, it's stone <laughs> voice, no, uh I wonder how sorry you'd be to lose that jewel. Isn't this the, um... Isn't this a, uh... Isn't this where you can turn into, like, the golem, if you want? Yeah, the golem. I'm gonna mix mines, because yeah, I've do never that. done that before. Yeah, do that. Charlie mixes mines with the Old Grim statue. Hope you're not a shy rock. <clears throat> the first search... Or, sorry, you read that? Yeah, the first searching tendrils of herself, Coralia extends, and she finds surprisingly easy purchase. Also, notice that the the statue has red and green eyes. You seem courteous, even in your solemnity. I mean, good hands. Crackling whispers flood the mind. Oh. I'd be reluctant to give secrets away if I was a god, especially to someone who looked like me with my weak hands. Earth scribe, I'm sometimes called, but I'm less the writer than the reader. Oh, right, because she has the earth scribe perk. Yeah. Oh, right, remember, this was in the uh, kobold campaign. They yeah. talked to the earth god. Yeah. Neat. The, then words come, etch themselves on the cave walls of her consciousness. Hallowed are the hills, the underhills, the canyons in the crust. Hmm? In a cloud cavern, a dream wind blows. Hallowed are the heights, and the ways I cut for water. Hallowed are the water's bends, and streams, and pools. Supplying the needs of all color springing things. Are you able to tell me what you are? When the first rock divided, there was the spirit I am from. There is no fit measure for the power I wield. I originated. I was creation's own idea. But know, where there is shape, a blade has been. Hallowed are the hands that out of the makeless solid trim space for existence. Whipping back around her is the air and matter of the cave. The statue's eyes have dulled. Hey. Hey, wait. What? <laughs> he's got, God, he's just gone I to guess. sleep. <laughs> the bonds interfusing them flag, fray, and flutter. But there's something now gleaming on the ground. My child, you think I need a prize for listening? I mean, if you don't want it, just leave it there. Coralia accepts the old god's offering and she goes, We can't. <laughs> <laughs> Coralia! Coralia! 
Let's see. Uh, no, it's me. It would be meat. Oh, so it's meat. Like, okay. Yeah. So Corellia, Corellia, is that you, love? They sent you. That's awful. What if I was dead? I mean, you'd have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, good grief! Go, hold on, go back. That is, I'm taking a picture of that. That's great. What if I was dead? Then you'd have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> That's great. All right, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, go ahead. We're good. I'm happy to see you. Reunited, they move on and soon emerge to fight another desperate fight. Stoneblade Talisman. Spell damage wow. plus one. Oh, dang. Uh, well, I would walk 500 I'll, I'll, miles. Sorry, yeah, I'll get that. And Magic I damage. Walk 500 more. <laughs> Nice. Alright. Alright, pierce through Zabimaru. Oh, that's oh Thomas, what if I was dead? Then you'd have made a grave mistake. Uh. <laughs> hey there, I'm trees to meet you. Okay, no, that was just bad. That was bad, you should feel bad. But I have my tree staff. What else are we supposed to do? Not Can you make believe terrible it? buns. <laughs> you believe that? That pun was treason. <laughs> nah, you can't use that. I made the treason joke earlier. I love how they're called rows, not does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Roe is me. Ro hey, Everlight Eternal, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. Make yourself at home. I'm Zaruk Windcaller. I'm normally an imp, but thanks to this boss, this hellhound over here on my stream, I got turned into a boss monster from Undertale. I have improved the situation. Oh, hush. But yeah, make yourself at home. Uh, we're playing Wilderman, which is one part D&D, &D, one part XCOM, and one part Paper Mario. What am I going to do about all these puns? Nothing. Nothing right now. Oh, God, no. Yes, hello, Everlight. Make yourself at home. Shoot. Death. Uh, there, I was about to say, shouldn't it die too? Magnolia's level up. Uh, okay, so my girlfriend just asked a question. I have a question. What are you going to stream on Sundays when Wildermyth is over, and what game? I don't know, honestly. I don't think... We'll think about it, I think. Yeah. Um, I want to keep streaming with Zaruk, admittedly. Yeah, we'll think of something. Yeah, we don't have to worry about too much because there's still one campaign after this and then there's legacy campaigns we might discover on the way. Yeah. Yep. So. Speed. Well, what if we made, let's see, speed. Uh, let's give it to Meeps. Meeps could use it. a bit more. Yeah, with Az yeah, of course, with Azzy. We'll do it on Sunday, but we still got stuff to think about. We'll figure something out. If you have any suggestions, babe, let me know. Like, even if it's games you think Azzy and I would like, please let me know. And again, no, it'll be with others. Not just as if other people want to join us, it will be. So, who knows? We'll think of something. Sweet. The Gorgonoids are... Gorgonoids? What? It's just Gorgons, right? Isn't that what... Gorgonzola. The... <laughs> Wait, isn't that what the factions call those? Just Gorgons? Gorgonoids. Yeah, just Gorgons. I don't know why they said... Go Gorgonoids. A... The Gorgonoids are slain. Battles led them down a boulderous roam where grass... Uh, where gray grass matches the cloud color. Someone doing dragon pictures? Hey, Azurella. Old Azurella Dreamer, the Astral Lady. Good. Hmm? So, what's your favorite monster? Oh, I'd say the Rain Bear. Emblem's in and out of every myth, it seems. 
Gotta be a classic, like an ancient vampire raised in a castle from a bygone age, intelligent and charming beyond all question. Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. I've always identified with, dra with the way dragons, I don't know. They've got all this power, accrue all this wealth, but they're always worried they'll lose it. Even a fraction of it. It's funny. Can't wait until we're around a fire. The stories will soar. I mean, technically the dragon we fought in this game was not like that at all. He didn't care about money. Yeah, but he was a lame dragon, so he yeah. sucked. He was a freaking loser. Loser dragon. Sir, had everyone around him sacrifice their lives for no good and reason. And he didn't even care. Yeah. He he just pretended he cared when they were getting upset at him and he didn't want to deal with it. Yeah. Plus speed. Alright, let's give that to Meeps again. Let's have her be a zoomy. Alright, and we'll go search that out. The Fount of Lightmaster. I'm the Lightbringer! I'm the fucking universe! If anyone gets that reference... Wow, um... If you get that reference, holy crap, you've you've been around the internet for a while. Also, um, uh, your GF is wondering uh, why just with like me on every other. Well, weekend, no, I, guess. I said I did say it wouldn't just be with Azzy. If other people want to join, they can. But I do want Sundays to be like a you know for you know whatever we do. Azzy is going to be a regular, but other people are more than willing to join. We just need to think of something that multiple people can do. Like, Wildermyth is good, and I wish there were more games like it. Because the reason I bring up that Azzy's sticking around for Wildermyth is because Azzy knows the game better than I do. And we both want to introduce people to it. After we're done with Wildermyth, if there's another game around, who knows? But yeah, I do want to invite other people involved. Um, regardless, um, yeah, we'll think of something. We'll come up with something. Um, let's see. The fountains are natural. Born of the earth and beautiful. They've mattered to us prairie people for six generations at least. God damn it, Raleigh has got it. It's it's Alone in the Dark. Yeah, it's the Alone in the Dark remake. I Yeah, um for your sake, Azzy, I don't know if you know what that is. Don't don't play that. Don't play that. Alright. Don't I'll keep don't that in mind. just don't play that. Alright. It's up Let's this see. way. See how the uh, see how the feet of our mothers and fathers fa fathers fathers made the path deep. I'll stand by you. My spear's solid. Hey, Cabrera, for having conversations, let's convene here. This body's as rugged as it looks. She wants to fight next to us. Think she's kidding? And you know, my husband Swickery breads our table. Down this path, I hack away the foxtails. By evening, let's bring a good man some good news. The grasslands ripple below them, raked with wind. I think we should bring her along yeah, for sure. just this break. Yeah. yeah. This situation is we need the extra hand. I'm comfortable if you are. Yeah, babe, you are coming off as a little aggressive. Let's dial it back a little bit. I understand what you mean, but let's dial it back. Let's see. You begged me to help. I'll tell my man. Ha! Say your name? Neneth. Neneth Amberherd. Hey, wait! Amberherd? Yeah. Hey, wait, Corbata! We pick up a wild woman! Is Meeps close behind you? In Coralia? This is Neneth. Ezreal went and said she could come along. There's dinner in it, so I'm good. I'm Neneth Amberherd, she who makes a peerless malt broth. Wait, are you saying you... Wait, 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 hold on. So you make your own beer, too? Huh, interesting. Well, it's well, it's the ankle of destiny. Guess it could turn any way it wants to. That's a saying. Um, that makes <laughs> it sound painful. All right. Ink. So together they go to a beckoning battle. Also, I mean, I'm not offended, uh, Fountain. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. Let's. Everyone in my chat. Let's calm down a bit. Like, back off. Enough. 
Um, Water spirit. Wait, hang on. Did I enchant? All right, I already got a leaf thing. Anyone need to enchant their weapon? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Yes, this right. discussion is over. Like, these are discussions that, like, I, like, again, I said we will think on it. Again, this is all, as he and I have said before, our, like, everything's very fluid. We don't know what's going to happen, if anything. So we're just going, like, I'm not the kind of person who's normally good with fluidity, but I've learned that when you stream, you kind of have to be open with a bunch of stuff. So, again, something could happen, something couldn't. Who knows? Anyway. Also, I need to look up, like, they named this Scorier. I wonder what word that came from, or if, like, they derived it from something. Because that's definitely not scurry. Because that, that does not scurry. That's a big worm. Sc oh! It scurries under the floor. Well, it might also be scour. Like, you know, destroy. Like, scour the land, that kind of thing. Ah, uh, could be. The ankle of destiny, the pink, the pinky finger of fate, the spinal column of fortune. Oh my god. I'm gonna see if we can't reach the water spirit quickly. Mm -hmm. Not quickly enough, I don't think, though. Can she even touch the water? Can Neneth even touch the water spirit? She, it'd probably allow her to swap weapons, but at that point, it. we'd want to go for the legacy. I got it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Both of your weapons are artifacts. Yeah, I think. let's go with a legacy point. Run flee, spirit of the wild. Mind worm. Oh no. Kill it. Yeah, remove the mind worm. Yeah, I'm on it. Kill. Got it. There we go. Great. Have everyone just gather around the door. Yep. Oh boy, what is it, Thomas? When you say guess what, something's usually up. What happened? Or what's going on? Right. Who opens the door? Oh, let Neneth open the door. Yeah, it sounds good. Nightmare! 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 Ooh, I know what to do. Hang on, let me just... Killed a juvenile dragon in D&D? Very nice. 20 feet tall, breathed fire, and was a... Yeah, that sounds about right. Nice. And now it splits into two, and then I can do this and shoot through them both. Nice. Yeah, what color was it, Thomas? <laughs> Guess what? Mm. Yeah, I was concerned. But it also depends on the color. Like, what color was this dragon? Bronze, red, what are we talking about? And before someone says bronze isn't a, like, mentions they're like, wait, bronze? That doesn't sound like a color. Well, in D&D, &D, there's two types, of, there's three types of dragons. Gem dragons, chromatic dragons, and metallic dragons. Oh, it was a red dragon. Okay, then, never mind. That's, uh, ooh, boy. Gem dragons, we are the crystal gem. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Gem dragons are kind of weird because gem dragons have, like, all kinds of different powers. Like, uh, gem dragons, some gem dragons can read minds and have psychic breath that, like, attacks you mentally. Uh, and they're all very different. All right, hydrate and posture check. <clears throat> all right, I can do that. They're all hydrate as well. You die now. Got it. And the leggy stretch. Yep. Cobera. Let's see. Upgrade how it once for combat is swift action. 
grant plus two speed to all heroes for three turns. Nice. Or wolf call. After a successful kill, Cobra allies gain plus two speed for this in the follow. Oh my god, that's really good. Holy crap. Yeah, do it. I'm gonna get wolf call. Gray bark, hunter armor. Salvage. Uh, okay. Yep. A fountain keeper's cottage miraculously still stands. The fall dead's owner's body is long gone. Showed us that country grit. Solid stuff. Stays in the heart. Makes the bones strong when you stand up and fight. And win. I should be home for dinner. The hike proves long. Night will reach them before they reach the door. Then this chilled expression gradually warms, but her eyes tend lower. Hey, here. Damn where I fought off the foxtails, see? So she was really excited, but didn't actually expect the horrors of combat, even though she didn't get hurt. Yeah. In a fold of lamb, the wood has actually she did get hurt. She took three damage. Oh, she did. Whoops. Yeah, but that's but she didn't die. That's the important part. Yeah. In a fold of land, the wood house glows. Inside is a happy hall. Now that font, our prairies, once again will walk them freely, and my children running will dot the fields happy. We fought, myself included. I fought and won. A smell of grains and dry wicker, of homey stove smoke. Also a fair tip, uh, so our lowest leveled character now is level 3 for yeah. the party. The average is like 4 or 5, and the max level is 7. So yeah, we're I, think like he's I think he's asking Thomas about what level their D&D &D party is. But yes, the level system... Oh, whoops. Yeah. Yeah, the level system is interesting in Wildermyth, though. Like, it is... It maxes out at 7, but, like, there is a lot of customization. Oh, uh -huh. and, I, and oh, I wish you'd seen it. Zephyr Quick, I ran one through. Swisher Swift, I pierced another. What happened to her appetite? Oh, sorry, that's your character. Yeah. What happened to her appetite? Mine's still intact. A humble feast happens there in a trading of life tales. Corbera is in her element, and the stories are deliciously weird. So, night takes its time to dwindle. Bits of the meal are picked over, dregs and cups are drained. And in the quiet that comes over them, Swickery, Nenneth's husband, clears his throat. Um, I hope I'm okay saying this, so I'm going to say it. It's all a lot of... I understand what you do. All of you. It's a sacrifice you make that I don't think... Well, probably no one ever fully repays, right? I know that it's selfish. And I'm proud of you, Nene, my hero wife. I am thankful, and I know that you deserve whatever chance you want. But I'm not sure if I can, um... Swickily, I'm not joining them. You're not? No way! I leave? And let you cozy up with that blushing shepherdess? Pah! Let's give him my granddad's old weapon. You're... But that's... I'm not using that thing. I'm a married woman. I'll... I'll fetch it down. The gift Neneth and Swakery will give them as a rare piece, with a history of its own. My Neneth. What the, what, the guy was afraid his wife was gonna leave him for adventure? Yeah. Spring will come, and life in this wide open place will once more turn towards happiness. Wow! Baker. What? Let's see. Starfaring giants once lived here who enjoyed using their hammers to make the earth thrum and give rise to mountains, hollowed out valleys. This devastating hammer was made by imagining them. Uh, I'll, 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 um, I'll, uh, Magnolia will take that. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, we won't have Clock Stopper anymore, but we're not exactly fighting, you know, Morthoggy, so. I'll take... oh, to be fair, she is a gigantic hammer suits her. Yeah. Also, look what the effect is on it, though. The stunt effect. Yeah, stunt effect plus one stunt damage and shreds one armor and pins all enemies within a two tile radius. Yep, I will take that. Yeah, we're replacing. Also, it's pretty. That's a quake baker. No, no, no. Um, I know what I'm naming it. There we go. I can't see because my freaking gigantic body is in the way. What do you name it? it? 
You'll see. No, oh, Gilmaz. No, Galmaraz. Warhammer fans will... know what that is. I will take up Galmaraz for Sigma, for the Empire. I mean, Galmaraz is a big two-handed golden hammer, so made sense. And in the lore, it's strong enough to knock heads off of bodies with one swing, no matter how big the thing is. So Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody see. breaks uh, the law on my watch. I'm let's confiscating see. your stolen goods. Co now let's pay your actually, fine. We should get my dolly a bit more yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Blessed Sigma! Yeah. It's Sigma. I will not I will not correct you again, Master Dwarf. <gasps> what? Sigma Dick! By the hammer and the empire! I abjure thee! <laughs> uh, fun fact <laughs> about that. Um, so, as he, the guy who plays, um, Gabriel in Ultra Kill is also the voice actor for the, for the, uh, for the, for, like, the witch hunter in Vermintide, so, Gianni, and he's gone out of his way to voice as many minions as possible from that game and from yes. Ultra Kill. So the bit where he's, so if you've ever heard, by Sigma, you posted cringe. Prepare to be judged. That's that's him. That's him <laughs> doing that. Yeah, I know his. It's great. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, should we get? I think we should probably get rid of one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Some kind of chimp, weird butterfly. It looks dragon adorable. Thing. Why is it? But it must be so dangerous. We know how to deal with a geist. I think let's get yeah. rid of the drafix. Mm -hmm. All right, we may just finish this chapter today. Yep, you want to just... Yeah, we're let's, all, keep, we're let's at, keep going. Yeah. We can finish it. And let's... Let's see. We got time, so I'm going to actually patrol. To weaken it up so we don't have to worry too much. Yeah. Nice. He moves so speedy. Mm -hmm. So Zaruk, if you're looking for a game to play on Sundays after this, a quick one, like one sitting, if you're playing with someone who knows what they're doing, is just shapes and beats, unless you dislike electronic music. I'm, I'm not against it. Might look into that. Thank you, thank you for hopping over in my chat. I think you'll probably be streaming some more after we finish this one myself. Mike, oh, go ahead, your characters. <laughs> yep. Might get some more wood for the fire. They're gonna be up in longer? Magnolia's already turning in. Her strong hands need a rest. Mmm, it must be tiring, you know? Being Magnolia and her strong hands. <laughs> Someone's gotta be Magnolia. Might as well be Magnolia. Anyway, one company. Don't feel obliged. The fire and I, I have plenty to discuss. Rattle cloak. More wood. Oh, thanks. The fire wriggles through the fresh wood, happy as a mud dog. Neep's eyes grow tired and she begins to see things. Flickerings of circles thought or flickering from Melio's book pile. Uh, I have no idea. Your your call. I, I no think lo we've done this before. I think and last time we did Thrixel Thought. So let's do the book file. Meeps watches a story take shape. In Malio's book pile, there lived a young woman who heard the makings who had the makings of a sword swinger. The nearby trees were notched from her years of practice with whatever blade she could borrow. She was the strong one, the brave one. Not that she needed much grit, chasing pests from the storehouse. Shouldn't this be your job? As her skills grew, so did expectations. A defender of Malio's book pile wears more than a wooden bead around her neck. It fits you well. But when Thrixelfeed came stomping and scraping... Yeah, this... yeah. Meep shakes off the story's unpleasant end. The next day brings bitter anticipation. Looks like they made a stand outside Melio's book pile proper. Bold move. 
Too bad it didn't work. No petty piece of loot here. It should be either worn or buried. The necklace is sturdy, but Meeps carries it like a broken winged bird. Find something? Armor plus 0.5. Let's see. Magnolia Give it to has Meeps. Less... Yeah, Meeps could use a bit more armor. Anyway. Alright, let's all prepare around yep. the door. Gather around the door. Gather up, children! Oh, well, they're both on the same spot. Okay. Alright, uh, end the turn and then we'll open yep. it next chapter. Yeah. I'll Meeps open it. Go for it. Smash! Hang on, I have an idea. Let me. Nice. All right, hang on. Let me smash. Smash. Hit him. There you go. I finish it. Incorporate a hump. Ooh, and we all get wolf calls. Nice. Which I believe gives us a, let's see, Wolf Call is a speed boost, right? Yep. Yep. Inspired to ferocious haste by the call of the wolf one turn. So, super speedy. Oh my god, it adds so much movement. Yep. Alright, I think we can flank. So, I'll have Meeps and Azirella up here. Yep. And then we'll prepare by that door. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's basically just like an adrenaline rush. If you get your adrenaline going, you'll run farther and swing. You'll run faster than any than you ever thought possible. Yes, wolf right. Ca wolf call gives folks the zoomies. And hello, Mothman's Mothman's boy to Mothman's boy toy. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we've only seen Mothman in flashback so far in this chapter. We haven't seen him for real. But hello, I'm Zeruk Windcaller. I'm normally an imp, but this hellhound turned me into a boss monster. Make yourself at home. Spear. 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 Yeah, we're playing Wildermyth. One part D&D, &D, one part XCOM, and one part Paper Mario. Hmm. Thank you for clipping that cataclysm. Ah, there's more. There's m way more of them. That's fine. By God's light, I smite you! Ah, uh, thank you for the raid, Mothman's boy toy. <laughs> Take this, books. Hey, Fate, what's up, bud? How you doing? Hope y'all are doing Hello. well. Uh, this is my friend Azibo. We're playing Wildermyth today. Open the door. Hello, I'm here. It's time to die. Oop, whoop, nope. Get my hammer out. Oh, I can't jump! No, it's on cooldown! Alright, fine. Oh, it's a Noctis! Hey! How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, on Sundays now, I, uh, well, I've been, I was doing it even when we were in our D&D game. Um, Azzy and I play Wildermyth together, which is one part D&D, &D, one part XCOM, and one part Paper Mario. Your best username. Yeah, you joke, there is a Mothman in this game. That's why I was laughing. I wasn't sure you put that together, Lamau. Yeah, she's, um, yeah. So, Anakis and Fly, they are both, um, they... They're both from uh, my Sunday D&D &D group. Our campaign finished a while back, but uh, yeah, we're all... Sorry, he. Yeah. I, I apologize. I'm, I've... It's been a while. I forgot. Um, but yes. Anakis is one of our party members, so... I didn't know you were streaming now. Congrats. Welcome to the party. We just be hanging. Yep. 
All right, on to the last area after we do this. But yeah, Fly, Anakis, you guys gotta check this game out. It's literally just, like I said, it's XCOM meets D&D &D meets Paper Mario. It is super fun. Let's see. Dodge. Stop right there, criminal scum! Uh, no one breaks, breaks the, the law on my watch! I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine! Yeah, Stop we'll right go. there, criminal scum! It's in jail. Nobody breaks the law on my watch! I'm confiscating Stop your stolen right there, goods. Criminal now scum. pay your fine! Catechism, what are you doing? My watch! I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Burn now up. pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Stop right there, criminal scum! All right, scum. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have Nobody to fix breaks that. Breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Hold on, I think I let me fix that real quick. Let's see if I can fix. Hold on. Where is it? Uh, yeah. Edit. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry. One second, Azzy. No issue. There. That should do something. There. Hopefully that works. Don't know if it will, but I hope it does. There we go. The lush landscape swells. Shimmering scents blow by. Overhead, the clouds ball like string, yield thread to the intricate lineations or lineations of stratospheric lights. Ugh, big words. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating Pollen your stolen goods. sweet melodies now drift pay your swaying fine, foliage. Or it's off to jail. Ephemeral warm hums fall on the ear like snow. Also, don't worry about my size hop. It's fine. The, the colors don't ever stay the same. But it's... Where are we? All doors go somewhere. Also, look how her text box has changed color. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That This is not a good sign. I have a bad... Is, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. This is the other side of the glimmery, glimmer scene. Terrafract is our word for it. I don't know if the Thrixel will call it anything but home. All right, see you, Fly. Have a good one. Terrafract. But is but is any of it real? Yes, the text box color does matter. Go ahead. Oh, it's all real. Paddable, flavorful. See, naked of its shell, reality's the soft, pliable thing. Here, there are very few hard laws to contain it. Hmm. That's strangely pretty, but also unsteadying. Can you give examples? Examples? Hmm, well... Here, winds are born of wondering. Here, imagining the golden glow of a bitten plum. You might make the stars turn amber and drip out of the night. Here, every fantasy you have might be constellated around you, articulated, whole, interactive, but always morphing. That is a, hmm, interesting way of describing things. Weird. I mean, it seems stable to me. I'm holding it still, mostly. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. But, okay, I'm sorry, and I'm kind of losing my grasp on things. But in my dream... Oh, whoops. You'd be throwing your lives away for a person who's been gone so long, she... I can barely remember Elsie's face. I'll come alone, then. All right, see you, Thomas. Have a good night. Sleep well. You were imprisoned. You were afraid. And... weren't you? Oh, well, yeah. But then I was able to forge a way out. See, I found I had the power to traverse this world. You have allowed yourself to become so corrupted by the Thrixel that now you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. <laughs> I was born with that power, the same way you were, Ori. Forgive me for interrupting, but I am absolutely itching to comment. Hey, Anakis, here he is. Here's the Mothman. Hey, look, it's Eluna and the Moth, which happens to be the name of the story. Oh, shit! It's true! It's my man- yeah, here he is! That's, uh, that's the Moth Man. Alright, I didn't. 
Yeah. Yep. He's here this too. My man. Yeah. He's here too. No. No. I am, but lately arrived. You seem so kind, so resourceful. But to paraphrase a dear friend, seeming is a weapon we wield like a sword, is it not? Wait. Milady, I am done waiting. My hesitation has only ever brought others pain. How do you know the Mothman? You're acquainted with this... This cosmic vagrant? This light lorn lostling? <laughs> uh, yeah. He helped us save your sister, actually. Did you know he's the reason this all happened? The blood leads back to him. Um, I fear that may be true. Everyone we lost. That... That's very sad. I wanted to like you. Call it an accident of fate, little owl. Perhaps one day I will explain in full. For now, I may only unmask her. How could you even hope to? An old keepsake. From under his hat, the Mothman produces a moon. What? Oh. Here she may obscure her shadow. But the glow of home is ever honest. Stop. Uh, how? She splits into a momentary spectrum of presence. Then resolves. Look what they have wrought from the girl who was Iluna. Enough. I wrought myself. You should understand what that means. The borrowed moon withers in his hands. Her shape returns to normal. Her voice, however, exercises its profound new depth, unfurling words that are heart-glazing, assuring, and powerful. All I wanted, dear Ori, was to ease you towards the truth. But now you've seen me, please understand. It's for the best. Also notice, and I'm not sure if you noticed it before, but previously, all, these two had shadows, uh, the Mothman and Ori, but she never did. Well, now now only Ori has a shadow. No, you can still see Mothman's shadow. Oh, okay, yeah, you can't see it a bit. I'm no longer Eluna Arkwright, as you knew her, but I've become something greater. Ekthis is my name. Ekthis, Queen of Light. I believe we all would have preferred Eluna. I'm sure you would. You like us frail and ignorant. No, Eluna was anything but frail. That much is obvious. A coward like me knows courage when he sees it. You never knew me. You weren't down in that pit with us. I wasn't pulled out. I emerged from the muck, and I did it because I was... I'm different. This world was too much for the others, but I mastered it. The Thurso brought me to this place. But I brought my, made myself its queen. A queen must prove her patience, my lady. You are a princess still. <laughs> I said that was good. Cataclysm. But as soon as he said that, I got my showdown guitar. That was actually <laughs> really good. Just whenever the Mothman speaks, the Spanish guitar plays. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um. You're asking for my intolerance. Better for you if you removed yourself. Please, though. E Lady Ekthus. Queen Ekthus, if that's what you like. No, Fairy, that's from... It's from Ace Combat Zero. Maybe I'm caught in a web you've woven. Or maybe we both are. Come back with me. Talk to your sister. Why else did you bring me here? Oh, you don't understand. Look, it's not complicated, Ori. This is our time. We're ascendant, and I mean all of us, together. Humanity. You have the gift that was dormant in me. I think they're saying that basically all the mages can ascend, but yeah, everyone who isn't yeah. has to die. Yeah. Even this Mothman of yours could join us. I don't mind. It's not important. And yes, the Thrixel destroyed lives searching for me. Too many lives. But I'm here now, and I'll lead the world into a new epoch. Or how do you Ep pronounce epoch. that? Epoch. 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 Epoch, however you want to say it. I'll lead the world into a new epoch, and I'll fashion you as my first and finest companion, and... 
I'm like, I cannot let that happen. So, uh, vocabulary time. Epoch, or epoch, however you want to say it. Epoch is just another word for a jump forward in time, basically. So, like, the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, the, the Renaissance, the Indus... Those are all epochs. Like, different when, like, you give a new classification to a time period. And, yes, I'm male. So, I'm male. So, yes, you don't know what gender this form of is. It's male. I mean, sure, the huge chest might be a bit distracting, but it's male. Hush you. Huge. Yeah. You can buy wings at any costume shop these days. Ah, uh, but you must see it's already happening. Regardless, it's just a matter of time now, and I await the rest. In that case, I will stop the clock. I have only ever acted late, dear bird. Consider this my apology. But what? She's too powerful for any of us. But I have a few tricks left. One day I shall come and tell you everything. For now, though. A crackling flash announces Ori suddenly unbuckling. He falls through a tunnel of luminous abstraction. In broad, bland daylight, he appears to his sister's frantic eyes and searching calls and staggers against mossy rocks. Ori! <laughs> also, Catholic, he's a married man. Stop staring at his moves. Yeah. I'll stare at them as much as I want. You and, can't stop me. And yes, Hop, the, chron the time machine in Chrono Trigger is called the Epoch. Yes, that's why. Next. Oh, I think I skipped one. Hang on. Oh. Hey there, you all right? Easy there. Oh, I've got... He's got wings! He's I, over here. I feel weird. We owe that Mothman one more time, huh? But are those... wings? Ori promptly faints, Karalia catching him before he falls too hard. Greg. He, he's weak. We should get off their doorstep. Thrixel surge out of the open folding air. Ori's vulnerable. I'm just going to focus on keeping him alive. Hold out as long as we can, then. Survive. For seven turns, protect Ore. So he can't fight. Yep, so we don't want to split up. We yeah, want just to make a choke point, then. Like, I could put uh, Mar Magnolia right here. So... Nice. Okay, all I can do is... If I stand still, I can do this. Alright, that'll split him up, I think. No, it didn't. It didn't even hurt him. Alright. So, I'll have... Nice. Don't forget, we need to cover the left side, too. So... Yeah, we need a choke point for there. Yeah. Oh my god, he keeps dodging! Okay. Ah, the stupid freaking nightmare. Nice. Uh, let's have her bite. How long does that stack? Um, every time I do it, it gives another turn. Okay. It gives, like, another turn or two. Got it. Let's remove stasis. I'll kill- I'll kill this thing. You die now. There we go. Oh my god, he really did that. Holy crap. We got a bunch of them coming down from the warrior. south. Karali and Ori are exposed. We might need to send someone back to help them. Hang on. Oh. I think I got this. Or do that. Yeah, that'll do it. Karalia can hold the line. With fire and stone, I destroy the enemy forces. 
Has anyone had a creative project that they really wanted to get off the ground? Yes, I've been in that situation. And sometimes the best thing you can do is just do it. Yeah, <laughs> someone send help. Ori's in weak hands. <laughs> oh god. Dang it, he blocked. Right, and then we'll put as you roll right here, and I can hit the bow. Nice shot. Nice shot. I can burn this one too. There we go. Let's interfuse. Hmm. Let's see, and wait. Uh, let me play Guardian. Yep, and more of them up here. So all we gotta do is hold the line. Yep. Let's see. I'll go down and cut these guys off. I got this. Let's see. Ignite, fire leash. It'll take some time to move over here. Naturally. So I'll, ha I'll have Azurella support them. We'll wait. I think, let's see. Magnolia will be fine here, so. Well, let's guard. See if I can't have her. All right, smash. Rock. There we go. Discus. All right, let's see. Nice shot. I'm going to send Cobera to back up Magnolia. All right. I will say this uh, this campaign does have some pretty rough scenarios if you're not ready. Yeah, it does. It's why we chose to do it. It's one of the reasons why I'm glad we did it last. God, there's so many of them. They keep multiplying. All right. Yeah. Okay, there's that. I can't afford to remove the mind worm. I need to. I need to ignite here. Nice. And then. Oh, I can't infuse it. Okay, then I'll discus from here. Uh, is this is this the last base campaign? Like, and then there's legacy. No, there's one more. Yeah, there's one more. And not the legacy campaign. There's one more base campaign as well. Yeah, and that would be with the. Uh, which one would that be with? Um. I be it would be with the deepest. Yeah, with the deepest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at this rate, I don't know if you can see it on my screen, at this rate, you're basically going to eclipse me in my own stream. Good. Right, we need to give Meep some more block, no matter what. Yeah. Because Meep, every time Meep blocks, he gets to counter. Why does a nightmare know how to interfuse? Spooky. Yeah, spooky. Ah, but it's turn seven. Yeah, last one. 
Let's do this. Let's do this. Hello there. Smash! There we go. Alright, we'll ignite here. Nice. Fire leash this way. You know, you say that, Grinix. I actually know someone who does that. Uh, go look up my friend uh, Inu Kaz uh, Kazane or Inu Kazane. Um, he does that with his girls. If his characters get too big, he actually sh changes to another background to show off how big they are. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, yep. Thanks, to we... yeah. Thanks to Keldrick, you can't even see me on my own screen anymore. Ha! <laughs> this is my screen now. Uh, you spelled it wrong, Cataclysm. It's you spelled it shout out. It's gonna be shout out. And yeah, I will. Um, hold on. Come on. There we go. There we go. And yes, Inu Kazane is the one who showed me how to do the PNG trick. Um, it's not his original idea. Buizilla did it first. Um, and then I learned it from Inu. But yeah, Inu does that with the buildings and everything. Let's see, let's salvage this. Yeah. Let's see. Upgrade untouchable no longer wears off after one turn. Perfect. Upgrade through shot. Can hit any number of enemies yeah, in a line. Yeah, that. That. It'll be so useful. Yep. Or he regains his awareness. Hmm. I was like, hey, uh, Kishan. Uh, we're just about to finish up this chapter. This is the last thing. We're going to go through the story. And once the next chapter starts, uh, we'll be stopping yeah. the stream. Oh, um, Anakis. So the PNG trick is... Can you give me a minute, Azzy? Let me show this. Okay. Sure. So here's the deal, um, Anakis. It's not just on PNGs tr uh, either. It also works on VTube models. So give me a second. Oop, oop, wrong one. So let me to demonstrate real quick. Here's my VTube model. So here's the deal. It works both ways. Um, basically, you have to get this, uh, this M, this, uh, connection called Mix It Up. It's an app you can get. It'll sync with your, uh, with OBS, and it allows you to do stuff like this. So, I have it as Redeem, but with a press of a button, I can, uh, wait, hold on. Wrong button. Essentially, with Mix It Up open, I can press this. And when people redeem something, it can enlarge or shrink my model. Um, and it also works on uh, PNGs as well. That's why I've been having to... Uh, I've been making jokes about Azzy covering my PNG. So, yeah, it's very cool. I found the thing putting me on top of you comes off as flirtatious. <laughs> I meant that because of how the PNG is aligned. Regardless, yes... It's a cool little trick that a lot of people, uh, that very few people have actually been learning how to do. I know Azzy knows how to do it now. Um, but the entire point of it is that it makes it so, uh, if you want to have cool little redeems for your care, uh, for people to get involved with, um, that's how you do it. And again, I didn't, I learned this from my friend Inu. Um, and Inu learned it from Buizilla, who actually has an entire document on how you're supposed to do it. So, yeah, it is, it's, it's not hard, but it is a little time consuming. That's the problem with it. So, uh, we can move on now, uh, yeah. Azzy. And immediately regrets it. Hmm? Friends? Trixel have overrun their position. Oof. Coralia! Like ants, they flood and climb on the corpses of their own. Yes, Fairy, that's exactly what they do. Ori, Coralia, Azurella, Meeps, Corbera, and Magnolia. Their bones might lie here forever. Unless. Yeah. It's bunk. Everyone gather close. Ori, if you can't fight, then we'll... Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's my... Yeah. Ori, if you can't fight, then... Uh, the app... We'll be finished yeah. soon. Anakis, the app is called Mix It Up. But Ori's face goes clear and calm, the wings on his back fluttering. Then fly open. When the gray light dissipates, all are swathed in a private twilight. 
The Thrixo mill uncertainly, unable to perceive them. That's a new build he has now. Yeah. Everyone around him turns invisible. Under the cloak of Ori's new magic, they vanish. Pursuing Thrixo fan out to find them, but the company dodges detection among thr trunks and evening fog. They get little sleep, day and night. Coming home to skate Mallow safe and exhausted. You weirdo. Hey there. Bad time, I'm sorry. You know your wings shine in the fire? Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of neat. It's coming to say, you can sleep here tonight. Your room, your bed. I not feel safe to you, right? It'll be like old times. Yeah, it'd be like trying to go to sleep with a fat black spider on the ceiling. I'll stay. What? Oh. This guy's so weird. I get that he did something selfless, but I don't know why. He appeared that morning, told us where to wait. We were close, but we would have been out of reach. Planted some kind of beacon to guide us, then said he was off to make sure you wouldn't be late. If I could go back, Coralia. If I could go back. Got to let people take care of you when they want to. What if Eluna's... Is this Axis some kind of Queen of Thrixel now? Are we in more trouble, or less? Does she want us dead? What does she want? Walk outside with me. Mom warned us, right? That the most dangerous people we'd meet would be the ones who had nothing to lose? I do remember that, yeah. Eluna and the Mothman. They're beings of a similar order, now. Closer to each other, I think, than we are to either of them. But they're different in this respect. He's afraid. And she's not? She's... I don't think she's got any reason for fear. Eluna, Ekthus, she's unattached. In a way, maybe unfinished. And I think she sees us all that way. I just wish I'd been able to listen a little longer. Her voice is, oh dear, the child! <laughs> Know what mom say now? No sky's ever improved by your picking at the stars. She'd kiss you and send you to bed. Yeah. Yeah, she said the same thing to you when your pimples were bad. Yeah. Yeah, but if Ekthis is a Thirxel now, for good and all, then there's only one way you've seen it end, right? Hmm. The peace that comes will be a balm to many. Six more years, they can shovel onto the bones of bad memories and good friends. But some are unable to forget. Their blood, their bodies remind them. To them, the dragging seasons will peel up scabs and they'll continue to listen for rumor of Iluna or the Moth. Nice! Six years of peace follow. Twelve months have passed, let's go fight Saiyans! <laughs> During the years of peace, Magnolia would always find excuses to visit Strowan Ironworks. Her pan wouldn't sit flat, her fire poker wasn't pokey enough. Whatever the reason, it had absolutely nothing to do with the strikingly handsome smith who sometimes brought his work there. Thorn Outfitter needed an angle to distinguish it from others in the region. Linus proposed a yearly festival where its fi finest raiments would be shown off in a dance. Uh, Coralia found planting trees to be a relaxing pastime. She would return to her home with a lighter heart and a softened smile. Linus was visited once by a woman cloaked in ivy. The spirit laid out three features for Linus to pick from. After careful deliberation, one was finally picked. Sometimes I worried what, that once times were peaceful, we wouldn't have anything left to talk about. We could always gossip about Magnolia. I heard I that! Read... <laughs> Everyone gossips about Magdalia whenever she, they need something to talk yeah. about. When Ori came down with a case of thristle throat, Coralia would come by to feed the pigs and handle the soup pot. 
How have you never had a waddle shroom soup? It's practically a family heirloom. Let's see, wolf leg, yes. No, I need to keep my arms, thanks. Hmm. Uh no, he needs his uh he needs his bow. So, nah. Yes, full anthro is possible. Yep. It, it happens limb by limb. So let's yep. see. I'm going to upgrade Azirella's bow. Go for it. I'm just going to give Linus a new crossbow too, if that's possible. Yep, give him an upgrade, upgraded crossbow. There we go. Uh, Wait, how does this... Oh, that's how it gets bigger. I was wondering how that hammer would get bigger, but it does. It, can we upgrade it? Yes. Oh, we can. We should upgrade it. Give her a bigger hammer. The biggest hammer, which will retain the name Gal Moraz. There you go. The biggest hammer. Let's see, uh, let's upgrade uh, Meeps' shark tooth axe. You may, you may also want to give Meeps some better armor if you can. Yep. Better armor. Let's see, uh, in let's see, increase mage armor for Coralia. Yeah, do that. Uh, or you could get uh Raven Wing armor, so less armor but more spell damage. Um, yeah, I guess we could do that. Sure. I got. Uh, you said Raven Wing. Yep, that's the tier two. Okay. Got it. And all right, I'm. I think we're good for now. Yep. Let's move upgrade. on to the next thing, and then we'll save. The shadows, the shadows deepen. deepen. All monster groups will draw an extra card. Can't you just explain? What did... oh, I think this is the child grown up. Yeah. What did words ever capture better than our waking eyes? I only spotted it today. Which, also, can you hurry at all? I am old. I'm not slow. You're fast. But the glow is still out there, see? What am I supposed? Oh. A little south of... Yeah. Also, happy birthday for you, gamer. Yeah, happy birthday. Uh, glad to see you stop by. A green-gray smudge disturbs the distance. What do you think, Ori? Is it something? Well, Elsie, I'll tell you what. I think it's him. The old mouse man. Would he advertise his position like that? Plainly, out in the day? It's not his style. Sure, but why do people burn flag leaf? A cry for help would be his last resort, I'm sure. If it's him, I dislike how undisguised it is. It certainly looks similar to the signal he raised when we were looking for you. So, Alexi Arkwright's the one who called your attention to it, right? Remember who her sister is. You have any reason for believing it's our Mothman? It's almost like I can read his signature in the shade of that light, can feel him calling out to me. Also, fun fact, so I've done this before personally, and L.C. Arkwright is the same name, so the name's always constant. It's always L.C. and Aluna Arkwright. Got it. Which is kind of interesting, since mm -hmm. it typically generates randomly. One day I shall come and teach you everything. Regardless, we're like the wave-watching gull of fable. Till we fly out to find what shines, we'll be racked with wondering. You kind of have a point, huh? Elsie enters quietly from outside. Um, yeah, so I've decided I have to help him. This Mothman, his intervention's what led to my rescue, right? And the others you saved? Let me go. I've been training for this. I owe it to him. Elsie. Guess I'd hate to miss the chance to save old Smuggin's life. Alright, Ori, let's all go together. Hey, did you hear me? We did, yes. Elsie, you're a kid still, and all the things that are out there. But Coralia, she's ready. Is the Mothman a god? No, he's more of a stranger type character, an yeah. outsider. He's the one in the middle. 
Elsie's experienced things that might have broken any of us. She's survived. She's worked and made herself strong. We don't have to send her by herself, but maybe it's time to bring her along. Do you not trust me? Well, I understand that you're fighting my... who used to be my sister, but I... I've grown up in a different world than you. You fought the battles, yeah, but us... We... we all suffered. That's not your fault, it's just... we didn't get a choice. I'll tell you, when we were down there, it all felt inevitable. One by one, our doom would devour us and turn us into monsters. But my memory of that time is blurred. I remember the hideous blue light, the hidden purple door, and the smell of rotten leaves. My sister's voice. I'm not afraid to invoke her name, Iluna. She promised I'd make it home again, and thanks to you, I'm here. Today, I'm ready to choose my fate and face the things that forced us to suffer, forced my sister to change. So please, Let's bring her along. Yeah, let's find you a weapon. You'll be measured by your actions, Elsie. Welcome, and good luck. I have hopes for my future, and I know it's thanks to you that I've got one, so trust me, we'll, be, we'll all be alright. Ori helps Elsie find a piece she's comfortable wearing. No wielding. Wielding, sorry. And soon the company's assembled pursuing the strange signal that glows, fades, and reappears beyond the hills. Every horizon hides a hundred ways to die. Don't lose your eyes entirely to the sky. All right, and with that, we can save, and we'll pick up next uh, two weeks from now. So, in, once we get to the end, I wonder why she doesn't get, like, a level tier. We'll probably have to bring her to combat. Um, but yeah, so once I will say there's achievement. So if we bring Elsie or uh, well, the wolf twin or the wolf siblings, you know, change form, yeah, we're about to stream Gillimon. Uh, but I'll take that. I'll be streaming Elden Ring later, so I'll start Elden Ring as Jim. Oh, yeah, she's uh, no, Faraday's right. She's Elsie picked up a claymore for her weapon of choice. Don't worry, sister, I'll knock sense into you. Even if it's the last thing you ever see. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But yeah, so basically all the people that specifically come from the campaign story, um, for the achievement, they have to survive the final battle and they have to be at the final battle. So we need to get LC leveled up. So I'm thinking, uh, we let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We split into two groups of four for next time we hit this up. Okay, sounds good. Yep, with uh, Azirella and Elsie in one group, and the Ori twins split up since both parties need a mage. Got it. I can see, see that. Yep, two war. So each party will have two warriors, a mage, and then a, and a ranger. Got it. Sounds good. Yep, it'll be lots of fun. Okay. Uh, anyway, so shall we uh, yeah. start? Also, I'll actually get to show off Jim right in your stream right before we hop off at least. All right, make sure you save for this. Yep, I will. All right. Okay. All right. You save. Yep. And it's all saved. Right. Nice. Okay. Well, I've just quit out of mine. Uh, it means a lot, Azzy. And I will talk to you later. All right. Yep. All right. See ya. All right. I'll see you later. All right, everyone. That is going to. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for this stream. Don't go anywhere. We are going to go raiding. I know the perfect guy to raid. Um. Oh, no problem, Fairy. It means a lot that y'all showed up. Big thank you, to, as always, to Azibo for doing the Wildermyth stream with me. Hope you guys love this game. Like I said, I want um, hold on, I want more people to know about Wildermyth, and this is the way we can make that happen. So, with that, let me get us ready to go raiding. We're gonna go say hi to Lore Dragon. Uh, so that should be fun. Give me a minute. There we go. So, <sighs> come on, VTube Studio, enough. Yeah, if anyone uses VTube Studio and you can help me figure out why, like, VTube Studio keeps picking up different connections and keeps freezing on me, I'd appreciate that. All right, see you, Fairy. Stick around if you can for a minute, though. We're going to go raiding. But yeah, I'm going to get this raid started. Means a lot that you guys are here. I'm Zaruk Windcaller. It's been an honor and a privilege to entertain all of you. Hope you may have a good long, a good long weekend. And remember, the memories you make in life, good and bad, 
Make it who you are. Don't trade them for anything. All right, see you guys later. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow when I'm going to work with Sipco Gaming Guild and EDF5. Love you all. Bye-bye.